favor on us most of the time. Wow. Yeah. Wild. Oh, yes. Yeah, water right here. Behind yeah, go ahead, bro. Flying biscuit. Maybe I'll come get a biscuit for you. Their biscuits are good. Have you had one? Oh, let me go ahead and get you. They actually gave me one for free. Like. Can help you set up your banner? That way you can make a point too. All right, you should be good on this side. No, that's for believers, the disciples. The okay. Sermon on the Mount. Oh yeah. That's when he gathered his disciples. You wanna? Uh, Sam, Sam. Yeah. You wanna stay right here? I don't mind holding it. I'll if we get feedback, it. then we probably should swap, but I don't think you're going to get feedback. I can hold it, brother. Stand right here. Oh, whoops. Yeah, you're good, bro. You can walk around. Check my two. Check, check. It should be on. There it goes. We blasted. Yeah. Check one, two, one, two. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ for a wonderful day. That's the red bar, it's cutting out. Like if it's too loud, it'll go. Oh, okay. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ for a wonderful day that he has made. Blessed be his holy, holy name. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ today for his mercy endures forever. God's mercy endures forever. And it was God's mercy that you were able to wake up this morning and not die in your sin. 
that you were able to wake up this morning and have another chance to hear the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. That you may be free from your sin and right with God. And right with God. Do not misunderstand the love of God. For the Bible talks about love. The true, the true definition of love. You see? That's not love. And I'll wait until they pass. Wow. Feel better? You got, it's going to be green soon. Then you got to go. What are you going to do then? God is, you're still going to die one day and stand before God, man. And you won't have a car horn. You won't have a car horn with God, bro. This is the this is the intolerant hatred in this community right here. This is the intolerant hatred against Christians in this community. You see that? You see the intolerance? You see the intolerance in the community? That's intolerance and hatred. See, you think you have love, but wait till I start preaching. You're going to see your love turn into hatred against God's word. And so, we're going to talk about what the Bible talks about love. And see if it lines up with what you think love is. Because a lot of people talk about love nowadays and they don't know what love is. Show them the sign. They've made up their own definition of love. No, you're in lust, man. You're not in love. Turn from your sin. No, you don't know what love Turn is if you don't sin. have God. Turn from your sin. You see, God is love, but it's not your love. It's not your definition of what love is. It's what the Bible declares God's love looks like. I'll tell you. You're going to hang around and listen? Okay. All right, that didn't do you no good. The Bible says charity or love suffers long. Charity is long-suffering. You see, the long-suffering of God endures people who are walking in sin and hate God. And that was me at one point in time. I was a sinner and I hated God. Just like you. You don't do those things that God is pleased with so you hate God or you've made up a God in your mind that accepts your way of life. Accepts your way of life. And that's not God. Not God's love. Okay? And God is still long suffering with you. It's too loud. It keeps cutting out. God is long suffering with you as you continue to sin against him every day. You see, all of us are worthy of death. But yet you continue to sin against God and he doesn't kill you. That's long suffering. What else does it say? Charity is kind. You see, it's not kind when people come up in your face and they curse you out when they throw liquid on you, when they assault you. I've been assaulted in this community many, a few times because they hate the preaching of God's word. But yet you say love is love and tolerance, right? But yet when I tell you what the Bible says, you hate me. And so kindness is me showing you the grace of God out of scripture. That's kindness. That's the, that's the kindest thing. That's the kindest thing that anybody can do is to tell you the truth about what the Bible says. So I'm showing you, I'm showing you love right now by telling you what the Bible... What else does the Bible say about love? It says that love vaunteth not itself and is not puffed up. So pride is not love. The Bible says that God hates pride yep. and that true love does not have pride. Yep. So there's a whole month dedicated to pride, as they say love is love. But the Bible describes God's love as being with no pride. You see? Love does not puff itself up. Love does not bump itself up. Love is not proud. You see that? So if you're proud, you do not have God's love. Even though you say you love, 
That's not God's love. That's your love that you've made up in your own mind and you think it's God's love when it's not. Nope. So love is not puffed up. Love does not vaunt itself up. What else does it say about love in the Bible? It says that love, love does not behave itself unseemly. You want one? Unseemly. Love does not behave uh, itself false. immorally. That's false. Love. That's false. That pedophilia is the actual sin that he has. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop. You don't know what you're talking. You don't read Greek. No, you don't. I don't have to Google it. I don't. Have, I know what it means. You, the problem with you is you Google stuff and you get bad information about the Bible. See, there we go. There's the hatred in this community. I'm talking about love. God's love. Have you been listening to me preach? No, you haven't. So, no, I'm talking about God's love right now. You don't even know what I've been preaching. You're falsely accusing me. I'm talking about God's love, man. And you just threw water on me. That's not loving. Somebody did. You see? See, that's the love in this community right there. It's not love. It's hate. It's hate. We're not scared of you. We're not homophobic. Hold on, hold on. Just let her rant. The Holy Roman Empire. Well, we're not part of the Holy Roman Empire. No, it's not. Jesus started this Bible. No, ma'am, you don't know anything about the Bible. You're cursing and you're hateful. You don't got the fruits of the Spirit. You don't have the fruit of the Spirit. You're lost and you're hateful. And you're not showing love to me. You're intolerant. You are intolerant of me and you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let me keep talking about love since these women want to know more about God's love. See, she's racist too. Listen to her racist nonsense. You're so racist. Why do you hate white people? Stop hating white people, you racist. You're an intolerant bigot. Why do you talk about white people like that? You don't know me. Oh, I, oh white people are the devil. Listen to that. Listen to the intolerance, y'all. Why don't listen to the intolerance? Why don't you tell her she's intolerant and racist? She just said white people are the devil. That's racist. Somebody tell her that she's racist. Somebody tell her she's intolerant of white people. Somebody tell her she doesn't have love. You see the hypocrisy? You see the hypocrisy? I'm telling you about God's love, and you hate white people. Yep, see? You're full of hate, and you're a racist and a bigot. You're a bigot. Okay, so let's get back to God's love. So love, it says, just like this lady here, love does not behave itself unseemly. It doesn't behave itself rudely. So you're behaving yourself rudely, you don't have love. You see? Well, you don't have God's love. You don't know the love of Jesus. What else does it say? It says love does not seek its own. It's not selfish. You see? I'm, t I'm giving up my time, my family to come out here and take your abuse to tell the truth about God's word to show you the way of salvation in Jesus Christ. And you hate me for it. You hate me for it because you're selfish. I'm not selfish. I'm here giving you my time and my energy to tell you the truth. So I have I love for you I'm to tell you the truth Christ. even though you hate me. You, you just want to be wise about so it. What else? Might, you know. what else about God's love? God's Can love does not think evil. Can it does not think evil. Okay? God's love does not think evil. It says that God's love rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. So if you rejoice in iniquity and you have pride in your sin, which homosexuality is a sin in the Bible, and if you're proud in your sin, then you don't have God's love. That's what the Bible says. You're pretending to have love. Oh, that's really original. Two lesbians kissing. Wow. Come up with something more original. Come up. No, you can talk to them. Don't touch me. Go talk to my brothers. I'm preaching. No, don't touch me. No, go talk to my brothers. Don't touch me. No touching. No, it's illegal to touch somebody who doesn't want to be touched. So do not touch me. So it says you can talk to them. I'm preaching. 
No, I'm going to keep preaching. So it says also that love rejoices in the truth. The truth about God's word, which you do not rejoice in the truth. I'm preaching, young lady. I'm telling you, I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm preaching. Love does not rejoice in iniquity, but it rejoices in the truth. I don't have, this is not Hebrew, this is Greek. This is in Greek, so you don't know the Bible. I do. So it says that love does no evil, but rejoices in the truth. Love beareth all things. That means it, it believes all things, it hopes all things, it endures all things. Love never fails. Don't touch me now. I don't want to pray with you, no. No, God doesn't hear you. God doesn't hear you. God doesn't hear sinners, no. No. No, I don't you know. No, no, definitely not. So the Bible says this. The Bible says about love. I can pray for you, but I won't pray with you. What do you want to pray with me? Huh? Please don't touch me, man. Watch the love in this community right here. You no, see? I just don't want you to touch me. You see, the love in this community is really hatred. You don't know what you're talking Jesus. about at all. No. What? I'm going to fight you. Christians don't fight. Okay. Well, if you love him, violent, you'll obey him. Fight. That's all the Bible says. says. In John 14, 15, if you love me, you'll, you'll obey me. Who says that? Yes, he does. No. I won't show you anything. Show you. you show me in the Bible I'll show where you right now. we're not allowed to judge. So can you pray with me? I didn't say God doesn't I'll love pray for you. I won't pray with you. I said he doesn't hear their prayers. I'll pray for you. I'm not better than yeah, you. So I'm Jesus just telling said, you that I'm not going to pray with you. The man that was healed from blindness, he said to the Pharisees, and we know that God doesn't hear If you love me, because Keep my commandments. Jesus of That's Jesus' words. Are you, are you he will hear a huh? sinner who is in repentance. I'm who happy has in a Jesus. Heart. No, 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 okay, let's go to Matthew yes, I'm 7. happy in Jesus. Can you go home and you're No, not anymore. Absolutely. Not anymore. Because of Jesus. Yes. And Jesus can give you that joy. You know? He can give you that peace. So if, what? Hey, hey, brother. Well, you want to be against hey, the brother. preaching of the cross. He wants to do a Matthew 7. All right, I'm going to keep preaching. My name is Christian. What about you? Christian. Okay, nice to meet you. Well, you keep, you keep getting closer to me. Can you see this? Well, this can't, is the true love in this my community space, right here. And I'll respect yours. This is the true love in okay. this community right here. I already know him. No, you know you're not. So, you're are, have you been born again? Jesus. What's that Bible verse where they pray for the tax collector who is sitting in the tree? So, if you don't well, suffer long, you, li li you listen to long enough stuff in that statement. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of any homosexuals. I'm not afraid of anybody. You know, because Jesus Christ. Well, that's different. I don't want to go to hell. And you shouldn't want to go either. So, uh, what? What is that? Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna engage with that. Please, please don't. Please don't flirt with me. Okay, I, I'm gonna end this conversation. Well, you are making me uncomfortable. Yes. Well, you came over to us. What? No, it doesn't. You see? We're going to have things thrown at us. We're going to have liquid thrown at us. Well, okay, you can pray for me over there. But I'm not pray with me, no. Well, just what you, you revealed your fruit by calling me baby. You know, no truly born again Christian would do that. Why are you so hateful? I'm sorry. Why are you, you so can just call me by my name. I already told you, yeah. That, that's okay, I forgive you. But a truly born again Christian would not, would not flirt with someone like that. In fact, in Proverbs, it warns of the adulterous woman. I haven't even talked about where you're going and your What? What? You see that? What? That's the love. What'd you say? That's the love. Do you feel like you're so held back? No. Actually, sin is what kept me bound, you know? And Jesus set me free from that. To judge righteous uh, well, I don't really go off my feelings, but if you want to call it that, yes, I feel good. If you're on your way to hell, but 
I'm abiding in him and I, I'm joyful when I'm in his presence. It says in Psalm that in his presence is fullness of joy, Psalm 1611. So when you abide in him, you know, it's just like a husband and a wife. When they're together, there's joy. You know, when, if it's a healthy relationship and they're together, there's joy there, you know? And same thing with God and, and, and uh, Jesus Christ, you know? When you're in his presence and you're on good terms with him, you know, there's joy. I don't have a problem with judgment. Listen pray to me very carefully. Or whatever you You're very smart. I, well, I will pray for you. Hey, uh, you know, I, I may not do it right here, but I will pray for you. Please don't touch me. Would you, uh, we're going to go. You said you that I can't judge or judgment is wrong. Hold on. That's according to you, not according to the Bible. Listen. No. The Bible says you judge. You're not getting my point. I want you to understand. Okay, then walk away. The point is this. The point is, sure, sure you do. I'm just saying, if you don't want to listen, why are you here? Okay. Are you high? All right, I'm going to keep preaching, guys. You guys are wasting my time. So the Bible says, Jesus says, unless you repent, you shall all likewise perish. I haven't even talked to, I've been talking about love this whole time. You guys don't get it because you don't have real love. The Bible says to repent or you will perish. It's the epitome of love for a man to come out here and tell you the truth about God's word and about where you're going in your sin if you do not repent. Do not be deceived. The Bible is very clear about homosexuality. That it is a sin. It is a sin. Okay? It is a sin in the Bible. Yes, it is. It is. I'll show you right now. First Corinthians. First Corinthians so 6 9. Being gay is a sin. Yes. So being homosexual is a sin. It's a sin. So marrying and having, having a wife is a sin too. I'll right? show you. So. Jesus so. defines marriage. Are you going to listen or you're going to keep talking? I have another question. You're going to listen or you're going to keep talking? Matthew 19. Matthew 19. Jesus talks about marriage and what marriage is between in Matthew 19. You can, you can talk to them. I'm preaching. Jesus said this in Matthew 19. Have you not read Are you the secretary or the that he which made them at the I'm beginning sorry? made them male and female? So God is binary. Right. He is not transgender. No. He is binary. God, it says in the Bible, made them male and female. That's the only two genders, male and female, according to Jesus Christ in Matthew 19. He made them male and female and said, for this cause... Shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, who is a female? And they twain shall be one flesh. Stop making fun of his stutter, man. That's not very nice. Wherefore, they are no more twain. You're wicked, man. You're so you're not loving at all. You're not you're intolerant. Wherefore, they are no more twain but one flesh. So Jesus himself said that God created them male and female. And that marriage is between a male and a female. A male and a female. That's biblical marriage. That's what Jesus defined marriage as in Matthew 19. In 1 Corinthians 6, 9. 1 Corinthians, because you are, you are of the devil. That's why you can't comprehend it. You're of your father the devil. You're of your father the devil, man. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 says... Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? This is what the Bible says, folks. Don't get mad at me. Go read it for yourself. Get mad at God. Don't get mad at me. I can come wherever I want and preach the Bible. No, you can't. Sure, I can. No, you don't. I've been preaching. You don't know anything you're talking about, man. Nope. Not in the city of Atlanta, buddy. We've been preaching for six years in Atlanta. You don't know what you're talking about about the Bible or anything. Oh, you know because you said, okay, let's see when the cops come by. Let's see when the cops come by, buddy. See how much you know. So the Bible says, be not deceived. The Bible says, do not be deceived. See, this man's getting angry right now because he doesn't like the preaching of the gospel. The Bible says, do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators. Neither fornicators. Fornicators. That is people that have sex outside of marriage. The Bible says that they will not inherit the kingdom of God. Neither idolaters. Idolaters are people that formed a God in their mind that is not the God of the Bible. Bye. Bye-bye. You got a green light, buddy. Bye-bye.
I'm so glad you like my preaching. I'm so glad you're tolerant of me. I'm, I'm so happy of the tolerance in this neighborhood. You're so tolerant of me, thank you. You're so tolerant. You're so tolerant and loving. Thank you so much. So it says, idolaters. You only got white people. Idolaters. Actually, I'm married to a black woman. Married to a black woman. And we do have black guys on our team. They're just not here tonight. They're working. Yep. So stop judging. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, I'm paying all of them. Sure, yeah. Sure. Yeah, they're working for me. You can ask them. Yeah, I'm a slave master, man. That's right. Yeah, I'm a slave master. Yeah, I'm a slave master. You're right. So it says, be not deceived. Fornicators, idolaters. Idolaters are those that have formed a God in their own mind that is not the God of the Bible. You formed a God in your mind that's okay with your sinful lifestyle. And you say that God would not condemn anybody to hell. But the, the fact of the matter is that God does condemn some people to hell. And that's why he sends preachers out to tell you the truth. So that you would not go to hell. You don't love us. So that you would... We are. I've been to Pride twice preaching. Where were you? Where were you? I'm sorry? I'm going to tell you again. Christians don't fight. But I'm a Christian. I don't your ass. Okay, well, you're not a Christian. You're showing that you're not a Christian. Because Jesus said, Jesus said, you shall know them by your fruit. Okay. And listen, if you beat me up, guess what? Somebody else is going to come preach to you. And then somebody else. And so, but you're showing the love that you have in your heart. Yes, I am. So says the man that wants to beat me up. He's the, he's the one who knows the Bible because he wants to beat me up. He knows the Bible. Listen to the man that wants to beat me up about the Bible. Yeah, okay. Okay. He said it. He just said he'll beat me up. All right, all right, I'm done with you. I'm done with you. So it says, nor adulterers. Adulterers are those that commit adultery. Don't touch my Bible, sir. Don't touch me. You're going to go to jail tonight. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. See, there's the demon right there. There's the demon. There's the demon. There's the demon. You see? There it is. That's when we get out here. He's getting angry. You better hold your boy. He's going to go to jail tonight. He's going to go to jail tonight. He's going to go to jail. He's going to go to jail. He's going to go to jail. This is the hatred in this community right here. This is the hatred right here. This is the hatred right here in this community. This is the hatred right here in this community. This is the hatred right here in this community. This is the hatred right here. You see this? This is the intolerance in the homosexual community right here. This is the intolerance right here. You see? You see the intolerance? Now you need to go home, man. Go home and chill out. There's not nothing worth trying to fight somebody over. You see that? These are just preaching the gospel. You're not preaching. Preaching the gospel. Then move on, go home. Then go home. Why are you angry? Why are you angry if I'm not preaching the gospel? So says the man who wants to beat me up. I'm going to listen to the word of God. The gospel. Repent of your anger. Repent of your racism. Repent of your bitterness. And leave. Just leave. It's not worth getting violent over. You just want to pray. You see? You see? You see? We're not leaving. No, he's not okay. He's not okay. He's angry. No, we're not disrupting anything. Even, even if we, we don't need a permit, sir. That, you're not the police. We didn't react in the flesh. We don't need a permit to preach the gospel here. No. No, we don't need a permit, sir. Go call the cops and we'll talk to them. We'll talk to the police. Have a great day. I love you. Have a great day. So the Bible says, nor adulterers. Adulterers are those that commit adultery. There are those that commit adultery on their wives and that look upon women or men with lust. The Bible says that they will not inherit the kingdom of God. They will not inherit the kingdom of God. Nor effeminate men that want to be women. 
men that try to act like women, they will not inherit the kingdom of God, the Bible says. Nor abuse themselves with mankind. Those are homosexuals. Those are sodomites. They will not inherit the kingdom of God, the Bible says. Homosexuals, transgender, sodomites will not inherit the kingdom of God. Okay, go to China if you don't want to hear it, man. This is not a communist nation. No, you don't love. You don't love. You're full of hatred. You're full of hatred. I'm living my life every day. Nor thieves. Thieves. Thieves will not inherit the kingdom of God, the Bible says. Nor drunkards. Those that get drunk. Nor covetous. Those that lust after money. Those that lust after money. They will not inherit the kingdom of God. And the Bible says, and such were some of you. That means the promise in the Bible is that you can be free from sin by the love of Jesus. That's why Jesus, ma'am, you don't know the gospel. That means that Jesus came to die on a cross so that you would no longer be a sinner. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That you would no longer be a sinner. Show me in the Bible. See, that's Show that's me in the Bible. why Jesus died on a cross. Show me in the Bible. He said it's right. 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 And I'm asking you to show me the Bible verse. when we come to this community and preach the true gospel. That's not a Bible verse. Show me the Bible You say you have love, but I'm trying to show you you don't have love. You don't have love. Well, come over here. I have love for you because I'm telling you the truth about God's word. Preaching the gospel. I'm telling you that you're okay and you're going to heaven and you're this is the gospel. But I would be lying okay. to you. But I'm not going to lie to you, you because I love you. Here. You don't know everyone's heart here. Yeah. How, how do you talk to you? So it says, and such will be some of you. No. But he will wash. The Bible says he will No, we didn't. We actually did not come here. If you are in We did not come here. You just judge us. You just and you are justified you just in the name of the Lord Jesus hey, and by the Spirit listen, of our God. Yeah, listen. By the Spirit of our God. And that's God's will for you. God wants to make you a new man. He wants to make you a new woman. He wants to put the love of God in your heart. And you don't know what true love is. This is not true love. When you're homosexual and you do homosexual things, you're God resists the proud. God resists the proud. God resists the proud. God resists the proud. You hate your partner. You don't realize it, but you do. You're, you're a hypocrite. But I love you. You're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. Don't go to hell. I don't want you to go to hell. And you just God. God doesn't want you to go to hell. But you're going to hell if you continue in sin. And you don't repent of your sin and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. You see, the Bible is very clear that God hates pride. There's not one proud person that's going to be in the kingdom of God. Not one fighter, not one tough guy. You're going to be, you're tough in front of me because I'm just a man. But when you stand before God, you're not going to be tough anymore. You're not going to be bullying God away. You're a bully now in front of me. But you're not going to be tough when you stand before God anymore. You're going to be crying like a little baby. According to you, you're not a Christian. You don't know what it is. No, you should be ashamed. Yeah, you're not Christian. I would expect that from you. I would expect that. You're not Christian. You see? You're not a born again believer. Unless you believe the Bible and, and are in Christ Jesus. Yes, ma'am. Okay, what does the look like mean? Okay, so you believe the Bible? Okay, that's what I'm preaching. Well, I'm going to talk to you because you're, you're reasonable. Can I ask you a question? I'm preaching, they're talking. So when you preach, you spread a net and you draw people in. So when I when I preach the gospel, I preach what Jesus taught and what Paul taught. And so that's what I'm doing in his letters. So if, you, if you're scared to tell people about their sin, that's not belittling them. In fact, let me ask you a question. Let me ask, if, you were, if you were driving down the road and you were about to fall over a cliff and you didn't know it, wouldn't you want somebody to tell you? you wouldn't you want somebody to tell you? I'm just saying. No, 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 no. No, I'm preaching. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Thank you. Hey, by the way, thank you. That's what I'm doing. I'm preaching to tell you the gospel. So this is the gospel, folks. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ right now. The gospel of Jesus Christ is this, that Christ came into the world 
to save sinners. God's payment to the world to save sinners. And if you repent of your sin and turn away from your sin by God's grace, He will make you free if you believe on Him by grace through faith. Through faith. You see? I don't know why that's such a hard message. Yes, ma'am. No, I'm preaching. You can talk to one of them, though. You can talk to one of them. You can talk to one of them. So then it says in John chapter 3. John chapter 3, it says. On a gospel track. For God so loved the world. And how does God love the world? How does God love the world? Not that he accepts everybody in their sin. Everybody's going to heaven because they're sinners. No. This is the love of God that was manifested in Christ Jesus. I don't want to blast out the children. There we go. Okay. The love of God was manifested in this. That Jesus Christ died on a cross for you. That's not that doesn't wisdom. mean you can do wait, whatever wait, you want on. and expect to get into the kingdom of God. That just means no, that no, Jesus is going to bless you I'm a Christian, and is giving I'm you an opportunity you to let repent of your sin, you let me talk. Repent of your sin and believe well on him by faith okay. and be born again. What because if you're not born again, you are not into the kingdom of heaven. If you continue in your sinful lifestyle, whether you're a fornicator or an adulterer or a homosexual or transgender or a thief or a liar, or whatever. There's a lot of different sins in the Bible that okay. you could be in. That's if you're a racist grace. and you hate another person because of the color of their skin, helping and if you're that, if you're angry and a brawl and you want to fight people, that if you have violence and hatred wisdom. in your heart, wisdom these are things that are causing God. people to go to, the, to, go to hell. To you're go condemned God already. And ask hey, him, man. How are you? What's I like it? your hair. You don't just I like your shirt too. Make a decision. Oh! And, and no, don't say that. That's a bad word. That's a bad okay, word. You're making a lot of points. I want to address them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, can I, can I don't, don't say curse words. No, no. Do you love Jesus? You don't say that. Just say boom. You don't. Do you love Jesus? Don't just go out there. You can go in the scripture. You love Jesus? And cross-reference is yeah. actually All right. the Bible. You see, this little child is a perfect example of what Jesus said to be like. Jesus said, unless you humble yourself, the little child, and Unless it's you not humble yourself to, as this little child, he's, he's you shall in no wise enter the kingdom of heaven. You see, a little child is easily influenced by evil men. He's, I'm listening. he's easily influenced by cursing and what he's seen on TV. He he just but that. God, have it on video. Going to hell. But Jesus not, said, okay, so Jesus let, me, said, let, me, let, me, let me address this. Let me address this. Okay, you've been talking this whole time. If he doesn't stop, God is going to cast around their neck. And they be. No, he's not. Listen no, he's not. Me. No, I'm not going to listen to you. I don't submit to that. First of all, I don't There's submit to. I don't submit to that. Okay. I don't submit to that. Okay. No, I don't. I don't. Okay. Okay. We're, we're preaching the Bible. What you don't understand about Jesus? Okay. Yes, we do. You, you coming here? You coming up to us with your chest all broad out, saying, "I know the Bible. I'm well educated." That doesn't sound too humble to me. And God resists the proud. God resists the proud. I'll give it. I'll give it scripture. I'll, okay. And I'll actually show you scripture. Okay, show me scripture that you should not perish, but have everlasting life. Oh, I wasn't talking about that. No, it doesn't just mean you would show, okay, exactly, you would show me in scripture. So what I'm doing is I'm caring about that. We're, we're not having a one-on-one. We're not having a one-on-one. We're not having a one-on-one. Show me in scripture where it's on. Show me in scripture where it's on. Show me in scripture. That's what that means. If you're wrong, I'm saying. God so loved the world that he gave his only God. That whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have an abundant life. And that's right. And that's John 3, 18 and 19. I'll get it up. Let me show you. And before I stop there, I'm going to keep reading. Look, look. Why don't you just walk away, man? Look, look. 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 Why don't you just walk away, bring the scripture. Just walk away. Just walk away. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And look, listen, 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 listen. He that believeth, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So you can't stop at John 3.16. 
I do. Colossians. No, you okay. Don't. Yes, you I don't. do. And, and okay. I, I rebuke you. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you, Jezebel. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You're coming against the cross, and you're not for the cross. You're not. You're not. You're not for the cross. You're not for the cross. Why are you coming against us? You're coming against us. I control your kids. Because my heavenly father protects me. That's called judging. Right you're judging me. You're judging our children. You're judging. You're judging. You're judging. You're judging. You're judging. You're judging. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're giving them a false Jesus. You're giving them a false Jesus. Matthew 24, 24. I get to be with Jesus. John 3.18. John 3.18. John 3.18. I won't be in hell, sinner. No, I won't. Nope, I won't be in hell. Nope, nobody's condemning them. No one's condemning them. They're telling them the truth. They're already condemned. They're already condemned. We're trying to show them the truth about God's word. That is not how you save anybody. You do not have any wisdom. I'm going to listen to the Bible. I'm going to listen to the Bible. I'm going to listen to the Bible. I'm going to listen, not, not, not some fake Christian, not some sinner. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right, man. I told you. Yes, I am. That's not, that's not right. That's not very loving. That's not very loving. You're intolerant. You're intolerant. You're intolerant. You're not a Christian. And you're lost. Nope, not going. Punch me in the face then. I'm still gonna be here. Punch me in the face. You're just gonna, you're just gonna prove. You're just gonna prove. Officer, 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 come get this guy, man. Come get this guy. Come get this guy. Please, come get this guy. Yes, listen to the question that tells you it's okay to keep being a sinner. It's okay to be keep, keep being a sinner. Ma'am, your baby's crying. You should take him home. Oh, someone's for us. Oh, Look at him. The guy he, in the strike. He's going he's to support on us when he's going like a physical. So the Bible says this. Jesus said, you're not a real Christian. You're a liar. You're a wicked devil. You're not a Christian. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. I don't need a permit to be out here. No, man. He's a false preacher. He's a false preacher. The Bible says, Enter ye in at the straight gate. The wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be. He's going to go to jail tonight, man. I'm telling you. No, I don't. I don't want to see anybody go to jail. You don't have to have a permit to preach in the city of Atlanta. No, you don't. You don't no, have sir. a permit. Show me, show me the order. This is an We don't have to be in the city of Atlanta. You don't need a permit. I know my law. No. This is the act of protest. No, sir. This is the act of protest. Go get your, yeah, get your sergeant. By the way, you should watch that man right there. We got a video. You shouldn't be attacking free speech. You should be going after people that are violent. You should be going after... I'm violent? So did I hit anybody, sir? Are you accusing me? Did I hit anybody? You saw me hit him? That's why we have a camera, you lying devil. You're a liar. You're a liar. I got a camera on. That's why I don't need a permit. Officer, officer, please. 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 He's threatening, sir. He's threatening me. He's very threatening. You're a racist. You're a racist. You 
you see the hatred in this community when the gospel is preached? Love is love until you preach something that's against your doctrine. She's about to pour something on me, I bet, right here. All right, that's good, because I've had several people come up and pour stuff on me, so. Well, I saw your face, and you walking up to me with that cup in your hand, so just don't walk up on me like that, and I won't be thinking that way. So the Bible says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction. You see the broad way right now? The broad way are those that believe they're Christians, but walking in sin. The broad way are those that are violent, violent towards preachers. You see? You see, if, if there was other people preaching out here, you wouldn't be violent towards them. So we don't need a permit for amplification in the city of Atlanta. No, we don't. We've been preaching in Atlanta for six years. I need to talk to your sergeant, your supervisor. Thank, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Hey, bro, I, and I respect the police. I appreciate your service, but I don't want my infri I don't want my rights infringed upon. That's all. I hear you. Bro, we've been preaching in Atlanta for six years with amplification. Supervisors have come out and they let us go. Yeah. I hear you. That's, yeah, that's cool. You're doing your job. You're doing your job. You're good. You're good. I'm going to keep preaching while, while he comes. Yeah, listen to these liars falsely accusing. They were ready to beat me up a second ago. Then this officer comes up and now they they want to they wanna act like nothing happened. You see? But you got to have a ticket. You got to have a permit. You gotta have a permit to beat somebody up? Right, I'm a gay ass, I'm a gay ass bastard. See? That's why you're mad. Don't, don't you understand that Jesus wants to save your life? Don't you understand? He can save you from your racism too. He can save you from your racism. He can save you from your bigotry. He can save you from all of that. But, no, man, we're gonna, we're gonna talk. Okay, all right, we're not going anywhere. You see what the preaching of the gospel does? You see that? No, nah, we're not going anywhere. We'll see. This is not a protest. I'm gonna ignore him from now on because he's very violent. Uh, yeah, let me hold on. Let me hold on. I'm gonna talk to you about this You know your laws, but you want to beat me up. You obviously don't know what assault is. Yeah, we don't need a permit to preach in the city of Atlanta. I'm gonna amplify that. We've been pre- no? We're not blocking the sidewalk. No, no we're not. Okay, move. We're not blocking the sidewalk. That's true, we can't block the sidewalk. Brothers, stay out of the sidewalk. I don't want to give him anything. Turn to Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. I used to be a sinner myself. I used to be a sinner myself. But we can no, you, you don't like judgment? Are you judging me? Okay, I don't care either. I don't care either. So the Bible says that Jesus came to save sinners. And I just talked to you about what sin is. And that Jesus would bring repentance and salvation to your life if you will turn to him. I don't want you to go to hell. That's why I'm out here. See, no, the Bible doesn't say thou shalt not judge anywhere. So, no, I'm not going with you. I don't have any plans to go to hell. I want you to go with me to the kingdom of God. Why do I wear a camera? Were you out here about 10 minutes ago? Okay, well, if you were out here about 10, 15 minutes ago, that's why. He is protecting me. Sure. Sure, because people lie about us to the police. What's that? What is what? A sin. A sin. A sin. I'm sorry. A sin is a transgression against God's law. So what Jesus said. So for example, 
Jesus, Jesus says, says Jesus is God. No, that's not true. Christians don't do that. So let's let's talk because he's talking ignorance. So, so Jesus said this. This is just one thing. He said, if you look upon a woman with lust, you have committed adultery. I'll show it to you. Yeah, he did. I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you. Jesus is God. Yes. Amen, if you don't believe he's God, <laughs> what do you believe? Are you a, are you what, what are you a Christian? Okay, well I'm gonna keep preaching. You can talk to my yeah, friends. Yeah, come talk to us. Yeah, come you're talk not going. I'm not going any getting anywhere. Yeah, no. I'm gonna keep preaching. Keep preaching, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna keep preaching. Bro. Yeah, I'm gonna keep preaching. Go. So Jesus come said, talk to us. Jesus said in Matthew, so you can talk to them. He said in Matthew seven, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Talk to my friends. I'm preaching. No, no, you don't want to hear the answer, man. No, 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 you don't really want to hear it. He's preaching. So it says, He's preaching. It says, Whosoever doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Jesus said this, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? This is what Jesus said to those that thought they knew God and thought they believed in Jesus. He said, And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So, so Jesus said, ye that work iniquity. So if you work iniquity in your life, Jesus said, Depart from me, I never knew you. But this is what Jesus also said about his grace and his love and his mercy. Jesus died on a cross to save you from your sin. He died on a cross to save you from your sin. He bled and he died for you. So the blood of Jesus is still there for you. But you cannot continue in your sin. Jesus said, repent. A sin is a transgression against God's moral law. Oh yeah, see, that's, that's the wickedness in your heart right there. I don't need to explain anything to you, man. I'm preaching. You can talk to them. They will explain it to you. You can talk to them. You can talk to them, man. So Jesus said, if you continue in iniquity, if you continue in iniquity, you're going to die in your sin. And that's why we're here, so that you do not die in your sin, so that you would be born again and be free from your sin and enter into the kingdom of heaven. Free. Free from your sin by God's grace. That's God's will for you, folks. That's why we come out here and endure this abuse from sinners and men that think they're tough and want to beat people up and bully and bully people and act like they're tough and commit violence against other people. But we're here to preach the gospel. You see, Jesus said, do not fear them that can kill the body. Do not fear them that can kill the body, but fear them that can fear the one that can kill the body in hell. You see, man, bro. Um, I need a, I need a drink of water. Oh, I got water here. Okay, amen. So turn to Jesus with all your heart. Amen. All right, you want to preach? Someone want to preach? I'm done. Yeah, now I'll talk to you because I'm done preaching. Test, Give me one test, second, okay? Test. Oh, hey, bro. Yeah. This is dead. Oh, no. You want to use mine? Yeah. I'll probably take that off. Well, you're going to get a lot of feedback. Oh, yeah, I probably can't be right here. You want to put that on here? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. I don't know why mine died. It was on this whole time. Oh, I charged mine last night. I did too. Hey, you want to hold mine right there? No, the other one. Shit. Hey, probably. Welcome to Midtown, bro. Welcome to Midtown. Okay, what's up? Yeah, if you if you want to stand right here, just protect the speaker, and I'll I'll be up here. Do you think our motive was to come here and provoke the sign? They'll see the sign. Well, if you want to stand right there, I mean, whatever you want to do, bro. You read the Bible, right? You read the Bible, right? Test, test. So if I love you, all my friends, I don't want Jesus Christ. Right? He said, "Come over here. I'm sorry." That you must repent, sir. Can you give me space? Can you give me space, sir? 
sir. See, this is the this is the wickedness that we Christians experience from this love community where we preach the love of God to you and you entreat us with harm in return. And my friends, you know that truly born again Christians do not fight. So to pick a fight with a Christian just shows how cowardly you are. To choose a fight with a Christian just shows the cowardness of you. Because none of us would ever lay a hand on you. None of us even came out here with the intention of retaliating in the flesh. We come out here to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to you. And you keep saying no one cares. But Jesus Christ, his word says that where the word of God, where the word of God is preached, his word will not return void. Where the word of God is preached, it will not return void. And God is not a man that he should lie. You know, Jesus Christ, he can set you free from your sin. He surely set me free from mine. He set me free from my sin. And I used to be where you were. I used to do very wicked things. I used to do very, very wicked things, my friends, and I'm ashamed of it. He's a that ball. And you know, you also should be you also should be ashamed of your sin. And you know, yes, you always should be ashamed of your sin. Yes. Because sin brings shame. Sin brings so much shame. Sin brings so much shame. I don't care how I sound to you, sir. The preaching of the cross is foolishness to those who perish. The preaching of the cross is foolishness to those who perish. So if you look at us as foolish men, well, that's 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 proof that you are perishing. That's proof. I, I repent of all my sins, sir. I don't I don't I don't continue in my sin. And, you can, and we show you a better way that you don't have to continue in yours. I'm ready to go. Turn from your sin. You see how wicked this community is. You know, this community says love is love. Love is love. And that in itself does not define love. Just saying sky is sky does not define the sky. Just saying red is red does not define red. And saying love is love does not define red. You, or love, love is love does not define love. And the Bible actually teaches us what love is. And, you know, we've actually shown more love towards you as, as believers of Christ than you have shown towards us. You know, the cops aren't here because of us. They're here because of you to protect us from you guys. That should really show the community that you're you're in. Tell him again. And you know, he took three dicks at one time. He tried to repent. Repent, repent, sir. You're so wicked. You're so wicked. Why are you so against Christ? Why are you so against Christ? Turn from your sin. Jesus Christ, you can talk. You can talk to them. You can talk to them. I'm a preacher. Jesus Christ. He's come. It doesn't matter if your father's a preacher, and if he if he doesn't tell you the truth, he doesn't love you. Because the best the best no, there's not there's not many truths. There's only one truth, and that's Jesus. There's only one truth, and that's Jesus. Jesus says, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by Him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. You know, we we live in a day where people cannot." They can't control themselves. They have to act out and, and, and use, use. We're not acting out in the flesh, sir. We're using our words. Y'all are using physical means. We don't hate any of y'all. No, I'm not talking about what, what y'all are doing. I'm saying what happened earlier. We don't hate the way this is gay. Oh, my friends, we don't hate you either. We come out here because we love our neighbor. You know, if... if let, okay, let's just say this, because I'm sure there's people who don't believe in God out here. Let's just say, let's just say this. If people, if people really thought of Christians as 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 people of followers of God, if people, if, if let's just say the Bible's real, which we believe that it is. If the Bible is real, why? What would be more loving for us to stay home and keep the good news of salvation from sinners? Or to bring it to the streets and and face persecution. What what's more loving? That's like that's like your neighbor being in a burning building, and they're 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 asleep. And the only way that they could be be set free from that that burning building is if you knock down their door and save them from it. And that's what we're doing out here today because we love our neighbor. We don't want you to go to hell. And sin will lead you to hell. Sin will lead you to hell. And we won't take this gospel message to a church. 
because the church doesn't need an evangelistic gospel message. An evangelistic gospel message is for sinners to call them out of their sin, to call them into Jesus Christ so they can be set free from their sin. We don't stand on pedestals and think we're better than you. We come out here to show you a better way that you can be better off. And Jesus Christ, he is that better way. You know, so many of you are out here hopeless. So many of you are out here empty where you think that fulfilling these, these ungodly desires in ungodly ways is gonna fulfill that, that emptiness that's inside of you. Well, it won't, it won't. That, that, that void, that void in your soul is meant for Jesus. That void that you have in your soul is meant for Jesus. And the reason why you can't fulfill it in any other means, no matter how many people you have sex with, no, how many, no matter how many beer bottles you guzzle down, no, how many, no, it doesn't matter how many blunts you smoke, it just doesn't satisfy. You see, if sin truly satisfied you, all you would have to do is do it once. And you know, Jesus actually says, he who comes to him, he's the living water, he who comes to him shall never thirst. So you'll never thirst spiritually hunger, or you'll never go spiritually hunger. And that's why you gotta come to Jesus. You know, there, there's saints of the faith that have been killed for this gospel message. And they, we, we've all counted the cost. Even if, even if the Lord calls us home tonight, there'll still be another preacher to preach to you. You know, oftentimes there will be persecution. And you know, oftentimes, oftentimes people will react to just just words but my friends yeah that's yeah that's what it is no, 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 no. I do 100% what, you know, what y'all, man, I came over here because the boy was, you know, smacking the Bible out of his hand, but I got one question for you. As far as Deuteronomy 7, 6, when he talks about, when, when God talks about, for you, Israel, are the people holy to the Lord, your God. The Lord, your God, has chosen you out of all people. Okay, so are you, a, are, would you identify as a Hebrew Israelite? Nah. Okay, well, you can, you can ask him that question. Huh? Who held the ordinance? Yeah, I knew that from last time. That's why I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, it's still 11. You know what I'm well, saying? Who, no, who well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, sir. I'm going to continue to preach. You can talk to any one of my brothers here, okay? All right, all right, okay. boss man, look. My friends, the Bible says that you must repent, that you must repent, that you must turn from your sin. Because if you don't turn from your sin, do any of you out here know when you're going to die? Do any of you out here know when you're going to die and take your last breath? Because you could take your last breath right now. You can take your last breath right now. And it's by God's grace because none of you control your heartbeat. None of you control your breathing when you're sleeping. You don't control the bowel movement in, inside your intestines. You don't control any of that. You know who does? God has ordained it. And you know, if you had to be in control of your life, we would all die. If you had to truly be in control of your heartbeat, of you breathing, of you remembering how to take a breath, you would die. And that's why God is so great, because he allows his enemies to wake up as enemies of the cross. He'll, if, if you want to know God's mercy, if you want to know God's mercy, it's, it's you hearing this message. It's you waking up as an enemy of God. It's you not being struck dead right now because of your sin. It's God's mercy that you would just come to repentance. Hey, brother, you might want to talk to him. Hebrew is alike. Hey, my friends, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ wants to set you free from your sin. He wants to set you free. He's not worried about a, he's not worried about a skin problem. He's not worried about what color you are. And I know there's many, many cults here in Atlanta that focus on the skin color. But you know what Jesus is worried about? He's worried about the sin in your life. And if you're living in sin, there's only two types of people in this world. There's unrighteous and then there's righteous. And you can only be righteous in Christ. And this is why Jesus wants to call you out of your sin. 
But you must walk through the doorway of salvation. If you don't walk through that doorway of salvation, you will not be saved. And you know, a lot of people blame God for a lot of things. A lot of people blame God for a lot of the stuff that they've committed. A lot of the things, the reason why they're living in homosexuality. That's because we like gay. Well, I'm glad you're honest, sir. Because a lot of people just throw in the towel and say they're born that way, and you're not. It's, okay. it's a choice. It's a choice. Because, my friends, if you were truly born that way, human biology is something so basic that a child can understand. Jesus also, And Jesus, he wants to set you free from your sin. He wants to set you free from your sin, my friends. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not straining out a gnat and swallowing a camel. We pulled the beam out of our own eyes so we can see clearly to pull the speck out of our brother's eye. That's true love. That's true love. That's what true love does. Because if, here's, here's how you know if a Christian loves you or not, if they tell you the truth. If you claim to be a Christian out here, if you claim the name of Christ, but you don't, if you don't tell your friend the truth, you don't truly love them. You don't truly love them. You know, and I would tell, I would tell any of my brothers or any of my, any of my neighbors that they're in sin given the opportunity. And you know, Jesus Christ, that's what he commands us to do. See, this may look foreign to you professing believers because you don't live the Bible. You may think that it, it, it was for a different time, but my friends, now is, now is time to wake out of sleep, out of spiritual slumber. You know, and all proud and lofty looks will be brought low. Well, you can't speak for everyone, sir. All proud and lofty, lofty looks will be brought low. You know, if you, if you continue to have a proud look before, before the Almighty, the pride of life, fulfilling the lust of the flesh, he will, he will, he will require your soul one day. You know, because the Bible actually says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. You know, there will be no more fire trucks in hell. There will be no more firefighters in hell. There will be no more ambulances in hell. No more cops to keep order in hell. It's just going to be you giving over to what you wanted this whole time. And that's what sin will result into, is eternal hell, eternal separation from God. Now, do you really want that? Do you really want to live apart from God? Because if you live apart from God on this side, you're experiencing God's mercy on this side, and you're also experiencing the wickedness, the repercussions of sin on this side. So it's like a, it's like a mixture of both. But one day, you're either going to go to heaven or hell. And those who go to heaven are those who have repented and trusted in Christ. But those who go to hell are those who wanted to live in their sin to enjoy the riches and pleasures of this life rather than the life to come. And my friends, what, what do you want? What do you want? Do you want to follow Jesus? Because you don't have to, you don't have to be without self-control. The reason why we're able to take so much is not because of anything that we have, anything, any uh, capability of our, of our own strength. It's because of Jesus. He keeps us. I would never retaliate in the flesh. I would never throw a swing at someone who threw a swing at me. Because you know what Jesus said? He says, if they smite you on the right cheek, give them the, the left also. Give them the other cheek also. And my friends, that's why we're out here, to show you the love of Christ. You know, I preach out here many, many times. And it just gets worse and worse each time. And it's even more worse when the cops aren't for us. And I praise God for these cops. Because there are cops who are wicked and they're also really good cops. And there's also just a lot of wickedness in this community. And you know, we come out here to show you the love of Christ. And my friends, if, if you want, if you really want to follow Christ, if you want to give up your the ways of your life and follow him his ways and you see that's that's where a lot of people get caught up 
you see a lot of people come to the cross and they never go through the cross because you get all the way to the cross and you see what it what it takes to follow jesus christ you see that you need to give up your sin and that's what a lot of people aren't aren't willing to exchange they rather serve god and serve themselves at the same time but you can't serve two masters you have to either hate the one and love the other you know and i i really i, I strongly plead with you to love christ and to hate sin to cling to what is good to cling to what is good and to depart from what is evil to hate what is evil <clears throat> jesus christ he can change your life he can cleanse you of your sin and he, he's done it for us and we know that he can do it for you my friends but we must tell you the bad news before you can appreciate the good news before you can see why you need the good news and the bad news is this who's who's in charge well yeah I, I, I just want, i've talked to all y'all together okay I, I, I don't want to talk to you about this though. okay so, well okay well hey brother adam yeah you want to yes sir uh, what you guys? Uh, it's, it's it's not it's not an issue. You know, just, as long as you guys aren't impeding the flow of traffic uh, amen. on yes, the sidewalk, yes, right? Uh, nobody's calling into that. But you guys got to be careful with the whole possibly inciting riots. Like, no, no, you know what I'm saying? of course, no. Like, we're, we're not inciting riots. Yeah, it's just that it's just that thin line. You know what I'm saying? That's all. I want you guys to be aware, aware of what you guys are doing and the possibility. Because what you guys are doing, keep doing it. It's good. At the same time, we know we know we know the crowd in which we know what we're targeting here. We know it's for a purpose. We know that. Oh yeah. We know the reason, right? So with that being said, since you guys are here doing that for that purpose, that three counts Well, no, it can't. We would win that in court. Yeah. So just make sure you guys, you know, stay stay on this on this whatever fire line you guys still to to do it. Yeah. We're just gonna exercise our freedom of religion by preaching the Bible. Correct. That sinners are going to go to hell if they don't repent of yeah. Jesus Christ. That's it. And we'll name sins that the yeah. Bible says that are leading you to hell. Okay. That's yeah. love. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's showing the signs to people like, look, I don't want you to go to hell. I, I just want, want you, you guys to understand that regardless of what they choose to do with their lifestyle, we don't know if they have repented or not. Well, by their fruit. Right, so just yeah. make sure. We're we just don't, putting it We don't know if they... Yeah. You know what, what? Whatever they do, you know, out in their personal lives, we don't know if they've already asked God for forgiveness, right? We don't know. You know well, what I'm well, saying? Mr. Just, just for the record, we we went somewhere else today already. So it was just where the Lord led us today. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fine. And, and can I ask something? Because yeah. yeah. I, I have talked to officers where they say there there is that thin line. Yeah, just make you know, and it's it kind of just draws. It, it just makes it very vague. You know, okay. to where yeah. we don't know because we preach the Bible. We don't bring our own totally opinions fine. or anything. Yeah, you know, so. Fine. You know, if, it, if something does happen to provoke someone, it, it is y'all's job to keep the peace, you know, because we're not ever going to swing us. That's when y'all could arrest us, you know. So, but, I mean, the cops should be able to maintain the peace, you know. I mean, just by y'all's, like, presence here, they, they scatter. As soon as y'all leave, I mean, it's just going to get worse again. Yeah. That's what we're worried about. Yeah. But, but by you being worried about that, it's very telling. Yeah. That this culture that says of love is love, you're worried about our safety when you leave. Yeah. Of course. So that's yeah. the underbelly of this fake love in this community. Hey, yeah, man. Your beliefs is your beliefs, and we're never going I to hear you. dismiss that. No, I hear you. I hear you. No, but, but nobody's allowed to come and assault us. Correct. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. All right. So what you guys are doing, as long as you guys don't block, you guys are going this way. And, and I could accuse somebody. Right here, I could accuse just, somebody tonight, know. but I don't because I, I have the love of God. Okay. And I forgive whoever did that. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm not, I've been yeah. knocked out. I've been threatened with gunshot. You know, you know, I'm going to come back and shoot you. I'm, you know, I'm going to come back and stab you. You're going to die tonight, blah, blah, blah. I've had all that. I've never once said, hey, go arrest that man. Never once. Yeah. God has always in some way protected me because he's the one that knows the hour of my death. Amen. Yeah, can it? You know, I'm not saying I couldn't get shot. I could, yeah. I could get beat down. I could get shot. I could Absolutely. get killed. Absolutely. Right. You know, I could. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not outside of that. Yeah, so. yeah, okay. But <laughs> at the same time, that's not allowed by law. Correct. Yeah. yeah, and and can I ask something too? Yeah. Uh, us standing right here, would this be nope. obstruct? Okay, and right there. The only way it'll be obstructing if people come by and they say you guys, you know, you guys aren't okay. moving. Okay. Yeah. You guys 
guys can yeah. you guys can move back and forth all you Yeah, I just want a clarity. As long okay. as people say, well, you hear it, then you actually stand. Right. That's the Okay. You know uh, so not being able to freely move. Okay. Uh, gotcha. Exactly. Thank so you. I'm gonna throw that away. Yeah, uh, just that. Yeah. like I said, keep that in mind as thank far as you. Yeah, thank you, officer. Uh, you know, the conversation. So I don't know how long you guys are gonna be here. Uh, you guys, uh, probably till the ten or eleven. Yeah. Yeah, because the permit or yeah, I ordinance. Cut that off, so. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Okay. I do want to re be respectful of y'all's ordinance. Yeah, hey, I appreciate no, it, man. All right. Okay. Yeah. Y'all be safe Thank out you. here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for serving. Hey, just the time reference is about 920. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's plenty of time. Yeah, we can stay till 11 and cut out. Cool. Okay. Well, as soon as these cops leave, they're gonna swarm again. So. That's all right. No, I wasn't revealing. Know what they gonna do? Yeah, I mean, you see how they just all scattered when the when the cops came up, but when they come back. It's gonna get bad. It's gonna get even worse, actually. Oh, I mean, Lord keep us, you know. But Amen, bro. Praise God. That that definitely works too. Test, test. Well, my friends, you know the preaching of the cross will always go forth. You know there there have always been people in history who try to shut down the preaching of the cross. And yet, 2,000 years later, it's still being preached. And you know, it's because Jesus is after every every person. He's after every person. And, and here in America, so many people have false a false Jesus they follow. And here's how you know that you follow a false Jesus. Please listen up. If, if you're following a false Jesus that is okay with your sin and doesn't confront your sin, that's a false Jesus. Because Jesus Christ, he wants to set you free from your sin. Can you turn it up a little, bro? Actually, I will. So I went I with it. him into scripture in Deuteronomy. And Romans. Yeah, that was a Hebrew Israelite, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good conversation. Okay, amen. Yeah, he seemed humble. Yeah, okay. yeah they, they usually go to John 14 and go back to Numbers and all that. Yeah. I asked who he is. Yeah. Right, you don't want to stay on one point. Amen. Oh, my friends, Jesus Christ, he can set you free from all your sin. And you know, the love of God, the love of God, test, test. The love of God can set you, can give you love for your enemies. No, the Bible, the Bible actually says... You're not his children. My, my friend, you're, you're not you're not God's children if you're coming against us. Because Jesus says, he who is for us. Actually, Psalm 5.5, 5, you know what Psalm 5.5 5 says? It says that God hates, God hates the wicked every day. Or God hates the wicked. He hates all workers of iniquity. You know? So what is wickedness? What is wickedness? God is love. It's not your love, though. Yes, but do you love God? Do you love God, sir? Do you love God? You see, as soon as these cops leave, as soon as these cops leave, you're just going to swarm us again. But the Lord will keep us. The Lord will keep us. And my friends, it may go unnoticed by the cops, but it will not go unnoticed by Jesus Christ. We will bring every judgment before you. Every every work into judgment before you. Oh my friends, are you ready to stand before the judgment seat of Christ? Are you ready to stand and give an account of everything you've done? Why are you, why are you so convicted, sir? You just need to repent. You know, you know, it takes a lot to scream at a perfect stranger. You know, I don't know you, you don't know me, you don't know me. I'm preaching the gospel. There's a difference, man. Amen. You're spewing hatred towards us. We don't hate any of you. You know, it takes a lot to scream at someone that you don't know anything about. No, pride is actually of the devil. You know, we have a whole month dedicated to pride. But pride is of the devil. You know, it actually says that a, a, a haughty spirit goes before destruction. Or before the fall and a, pr a proud a proud spirit goes before destruction. And if you're proud, God resists you. God resists the proud. You know, it actually says in Psalm 711 that God is angry with the wicked every day. Oh my friend.
friends. Do you know Jesus Christ? Because a lot of people say that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. God loves me. God is love. But that's not why we're out here. Do you love God? Because a one-way relationship does not work. You just saying that God, you just saying that God loves you doesn't mean anything if you don't love God. Because if you love God, you'll obey him. That's what John 14, 15 says. Who do you love? Because the, 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 the friends, the family that you have, you wouldn't go up and you wouldn't go up into their face and just and just punch them because you have a love for them. But my friends, we come out here because we love you. Christ died for you because he loves you. <laughs> he loves you in this. He loves you in this that he died on the cross. He was a lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. And my friends, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He wants to give you the love of God. And when you have the love of God, you won't you won't you won't strike out in the flesh. And you know it's really by the fear of the Lord. Because by the fear of the Lord men depart from evil. If you truly fear the Lord, you won't you won't sin against him. You won't. Okay. You want this, sir? End of the day, look, let, me say, let me say something. At the end of the day, right? You know, disrespect, because I do believe in some God, but at the end of the day, we all got our own individual lives, right? We all got to find our path. So look. So you want to talk to him? Yeah, I can talk. Yeah, I talk. Yeah. I, I talk. Like, like, look. <clears throat> oh, my friends. Jesus Christ, he actually commanded us to go out, to go out into, into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. You know, so none, of, so none of you are excluded from that. That means we're called to preach the gospel to you because we love you. We, we love you in this, that we tell you the truth because love suffers long. Love suffers long. It envies not. It envies not. Jesus Christ. Oh, you know, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess at the name of Jesus Christ. When you stand before Jesus Christ, you're not just going to flippantly blaspheme his name. You're not just going to say OMG or JC or, J or GD anymore before him. You know, what many of you will do when you stand before Jesus Christ is ask him to forgive you. But the reason why he won't forgive you on, on the day of judgment is because he'll show you all the times. He'll show you all the times that you had to get right. All the times that you had to get right. And the only reason, the only reason why you'll ask God for forgiveness on the day of judgment is because you got caught. You got caught, your sin is ever before you. The only thing you can do is just throw yourself at his feet. Come talk to us, sir. Christians don't fight. We'd love to talk to every one of y'all. And you can talk to him, sir. How you doing, bro? You got the F? You got the thing? Hey, bro. Huh? Oh, no, you're not. You're not. Sir, please don't touch me. Please don't, please don't touch me. Turn, turn from your sin. Go and repent. Go, re go repent. Go repent. Go repent. Suck your mama. You know, people don't act this way if you were to preach Santa Claus or if you were to preach the Tooth Fairy or the Easter Bunny. You know the reason why people act this way when the gospel is preached? You know why people act this way when the gospel message is preached? Because their own conscience bears against them that that it that what that what that what we're saying is actually true. Get sober, sir, and go repent. Turn from your sin. Jesus Christ, he knows when you're going to die. He knows when you're going to die. And the thing is, none of you know when you're going to die. We don't know when we're going to die. But my friends, there is... A, there is
see 155,000 people die a day and 55 million people a year. And a lot of it is young people. And you know, many people who take their last breath do not know that that would be their last breath. And off into eternity they go. And a sinful life equals an eternal torment. And you don't have to go there. We're not just we're not just preaching the bad news. We're showing the bad news and why you need the good news. Amen. Just like a doctor doesn't just tell you that you have cancer without offering without offering chemo or anything to combat it. We we don't just tell you that you're going to go to hell as we have been falsely accused of saying. We tell you the whole the full we tell you the full counsel of God. Because if we, if we preach to you the half gospel, that's no gospel at all. If we, just if we just preach to you that Jesus loves you and that's it, that's, the, that's, a false, that's a false gospel. And if we were to just preach the wrath of God, that's also a false doctrine. We have to preach the whole counsel of God. And when we preach the full counsel of God, Someone should walk away knowing what they need to do. Amen. And what you need to do is repent. Is get right before God. You know, you know, if you humble yourself, you're two inches away from becoming a Christian. And then the next two steps, the next two steps is repenting and believing the gospel. And when you do that, when you're ready to give your life to Christ, you'll receive brand new desires. New desires that won't be bound to serve the flesh to serve the flesh all my friends turn from your sin in Jesus name I want I want y'all to be able to preach whoever wants to should not perish, but might have everlasting life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. He who believes in the only begotten name of the Son of God is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already. And this is the condemnation, that light has come into the world, but men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Like, and this like is the problem nowadays in the world. Sure Everybody assumes because a street preacher is telling them that yeah. God loves them, but he they have to change. But they're hateful. That, and they get rebuked for it for the simple fact that you, you guys don't believe in truth. Truth is it's simple to understand. Man and a woman like like, oh, were made like, in the beginning. Funny, like, yeah. God people says like that a man shall leave his mother and father and cling to his wife. I, I, I be into the this is what the Bible teaches. This is why we're out here because we care about people. We want them to know the truth and true love warns. And we, are. and we are. And you're not. You're not. Yes, you're are. mocking. And look, this is why I'm around, around women but like But you can still go to heaven. Saying, you can be well, saved. Jezebel. The Bible warns of adulterous you, women. And can save you from the utter and mother. And that's what got me in the matrix. That's right. That's me in the matrix. But you know, when people like, drive by the preacher and they start mocking and cursing at the preacher, that shows the state of their heart. What's your name? Jesus says, make a tree good and it's fruit good. Or else, make a tree bad and it's fruit bad. So a good tree cannot produce bad fruit. Nor may a bad tree produce good fruit. I don't give this to everybody, but... A good man. Out of the good treasure like, of his heart will bring forth good things. So an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart will bring forth evil things. You, evil 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 things. you, um, you, you hypocrites! How can you be evil and speak it. good things? It's just different for I say unto you that every word a man may utter, he will give an account for in the day of wrath, the day of judgment. For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. If you're speaking blasphemies or cursing, I and living in the world, you're going to be condemned for that. We're not the ones condemning you. When I get to what we, we sound judgmental to 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But did you yeah. know that God is judgmental? Yeah. The same Jesus that came uh, down and died on the cross yeah, yeah, for you. Yeah, we were just talking about you were a sinner. We got you. Also flooded the about. entire yeah, world. We, 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 we're just, billions so, so of people are only left uh, eight people alive. That's the same God that came down and died for you. Three? You have to ask yourself, why would he do that? Uh, because those men at that time ago. were extremely I evil. Hip -hop artist, All of their DJ, thoughts were uh, lustful. You know, I would All the way to the core of their the being. The same God, like that, Jesus, that came down and died for you on the cross, um, destroyed you know, like Sodom and Gomorrah with in a while, fire from heaven. Blunt. Why? Once in a while, you know, I well, let's like talk about the story of Sodom and Gomorrah for a minute. In that story, there's a righteous man, Lot. And two angels are disguised as men, and they come into the town. Because God is fed up with the wickedness. And these angels come into the town to get Lot. Lady, and Lot says, come stay at my home tonight used to be in love with, And all the men of the town Jesus, saw these two men. Married, and they lusted and after them. They were burning with passion and lust after these two men they saw. They were angels in disguise. And these men gathered around Lot's Catholic. house. You know, and I wasn't, I was let, lost. The, let those men out, and so, which we saw into your home, so that we may know them. And the biblical word for know is to have intercourse. To hell. These and all the men in this like entire town about, like, the came, end times and they wanted to rape these two sinner, random men that just came into home. Like that. just, That's what this story is really about, is the wickedness of the town. Now, some other things occur after this, but the moral of the story is that if you continue in sin, God will judge you. Judgment is coming. And it's appointed unto a man once to die, and then the judgment. Though you hold Lord, hand in hand, you will not escape Jesus. judgment. Said, Lord, I, no matter I how much you believe sinner, you're right with God, lost, unless you're actually hell, obeying in God's word sin, and hungering and blessing for righteousness, not anymore. yourself, I want to be then you're not again. really saved. And man, I'm what does telling it mean you, man, to be saved? He gave me the Holy it means Spirit. Filled me, Jesus said, "Be holy, me of my uh, sin. I am holy." And I had new desires. Be perfect, for your Father in heaven is perfect. I got, I, I, I trashed That's all my right. records because I couldn't listen to it anymore. Like the message upon him when he's near. And in Put away the evil doings from the sight of the Lord. It. I you couldn't think it was like my heart couldn't take it. It was like eating poop. You. You don't have like if you eat poop, you have a gag reflex. God you had made me new and I couldn't get it down, man. So I was like, I gotta get rid of this. I crashed all my CDs. I got rid of my turn. Sin is a sickness. And when you have I started sin, reading the Bible like, all the life. time. Jesus I said, I came friends, to give you life and life you know, more my abundantly. That I was hanging out with Abundant life? Means you and God properly. started taking me from not not guilty, season, not, season, not, season, not season, professing that you're you you prideful in yourself, boasting that's yourself right. up. And that's, and, and, you know, and Jesus said Jesus this: says, no pride man comes before come destruction, and a haughty spirit first. before the fall. So right now, if you're I'm out here talking me, about pride, one oh, I'm prideful. Yeah, I could be who I want to be. That's the that's the that's the love of the world. Jesus says the love of the world is enmity with the Father. If like you love the world, then you hate you know, God. No, that is if you have the lust of the flesh, that's a divine the lust of the eyes, that God the pride of life, to himself. then you, you know don't know who Jesus Christ is. Down your life, Jesus can save God, you from Jesus all things. Christ. Saul so was a murderer. He murdered Christians, and you Jesus know, turned him, and, 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 and they made him the one who wrote two thirds of the New Testament. To preach. I knew he that's was right. Me out to do in the book of Corinthians, it says, Be not deceived, or liar. You're an adulterer, you're a adulterer, you're lustful, you're effeminate, you're homosexual, you're a violent, you're extortionate, you're entering into the kingdom. My daughters write That's music. right. Do and not be deceived. My but then it proceeds to say, in as Lord, birth, and some of you. Like I was, bro. That's right. Nothing. Some of us and who are saved it. over here today used to be drug addicts. I was one of them. You used to be in the world watching pornography, masturbating, lying, all the time. Those are things that we do. Give you a we woman cease of God to do those, and now we don't do them anymore. We're now we're born again in Christ, Jesus, and we live holy. He can do and we do the things God Amen. wants us to do. Your we commune with each other. We, we, we live Amen. holy. Did, did you we have action. Yeah, our our form of humor is the most godly form of humor you've ever experienced. Why don't you come over and talk to us? This is why we're out here, because we care about you. God is love, that's right. But God is not all love. In fact, God says that he has wrath. He'll, he'll make mind, a new generation out of you God will as a man the of God raising his children in the Lord. One day, That's God is going to come back. It's amazing. And he's going to see my wife the healed of the incurable disease. Their righteousness. I've had demons That's cast out of me. Says. I've had lung problems He healed. says, by I mean, this God, we know that we God, know him. He's taken if me through keep, trials. I've had please, children in the womb die as well. He who says, I know him, I've been through lack, I've been through homelessness. But does not keep his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. And I know what you're thinking. How could a God, righteous, perfect, and holy, hate somebody for the way they're if we stay well, guess what? You're not Christ, made the way you are Christ, right now, currently. We die, you were made as an innocent heaven, baby. To, uh, you were made heaven, perfect like Catholic, in the eyes heaven, of God. We get to be Stitched with Jesus together in your mother's womb, womb fearfully and wonderfully made. Will go to the you were not born a sinner. The Bible does not teach so, that you're born a sinner. Awesome, bro. Nowhere There's does it say that. Hope Anywhere. In Christian, in, I'm in telling you, God loves you. You can be saved from your sins. 
We were saved from our sins, so we know that what God did for us, He can do for you. He offers it to all men, everywhere. God cares about you. He loves you. Smile. God loves you. It's the truth. But here's the thing. God hates sin. God will send a sinner to hell. In the Bible, it talks about what hate is. God wants for you, man. God hates the hate that shed innocent blood. Some people out here probably say yes, abortion uh, is okay. Can we stand over there so I can actually... That's right, an innocent baby uh, in his mother's so womb, his mother's womb. The question the is, are you ready to follow Jesus? Place a baby you know? exist. And before you say yes, yes consider this. It's a genocide. You know, it's over 3,000 babies in America today in America. Jesus, when he called his disciples to follow him, he wasn't yeah, saying, listen, okay, give me an answer in about a week, Karen, yeah, and then let me know if you want no, to follow it's murder, me. It's it was right now. Like, Turn away from will you follow me, Mark? That's right. God hates the hands that shed innocent blood. And, you know, that's how he came to And it really comes to the point of really counting the cost. Do I have what it takes to follow Christ? Not in your own strength, but if you just submit to his strength, you will, you know? But that's the that's what you're counting. Are you willing to submit your will and say, not my will, but your will be done? You know? It's like this. Say say your hand say your hand is stuck in a glass jar, right? And you see that you're holding this this ball, right? And this ball is your sin. What you have to be willing to do is just let it go, and now you can let, now you can be pulled out free, you know? Jesus can pull you out free, you know? And so, what you have to do is just surrender your sin at the cross, and he'll give you the strength to overcome it when you go through the cross. Yeah. You know, does that make sense? All by his power, yeah. No, you'll live forever! Amen. Does that make sense? I don't care about money. Yeah, it makes sense. I gotta support it, man. I just gotta... Oh, wow. You'll give an account for that. You'll give an account for that. You're wicked. You need to repent. Turn to Jesus. He cares about you. See, that's perverted. That's perverted, bro. You won't be doing that in heaven. In front of God, in front of God, you'll be screaming. That's what hell's going to be like, man. Why would you want to so, go there? Yeah, that's so, wicked, bro. Yeah, so... Are you want like, if what, Jesus were in a physical form right asking you, Marquez, you know, you it, will you're you follow me? Yourself. What would be your answer, right. you know? So, and that, that's not something you have to answer to me yeah. about. Yeah. What are you doing, bro? But just Turn to Jesus, praise man. God. No, I'm going to stand right here and preach the gospel because Jesus loves you. And no matter but what you do to me, no matter if, what you if, do to me, God Because focus, I just want you to focus because there's a lot of spiritual warfare trying to keep you from this conversation, you know? And the devil does not... Right, exactly. The devil does not want you to focus on this at all. But Jesus, he's calling you. He's that small, gentle voice that's calling you out of your sin. But you have to submit to that, you know? You have to submit to him and say, okay, Lord, not my will. Not my will, but your will be done. You know, so, like I said, it's not something you have to answer me. Okay, yes, I will follow Jesus. Get before the Lord and answer him, you know? Does that make sense? Brother Chris, the mic shut off. Can you help me out here? I don't know what's going on. I know this is on. Oh my Jesus, people. God, hey, God loves you, bro. You can repent and turn from that wicked perverted. Hey, you got a spirit, bro. A spirit of evil. The speaker died. The speaker died, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. It's all good. Yeah, I mean, you can. Can you come with me? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll come with you. But, Marquez? Marquez? Yeah, amen. Yeah, so. I'm going to walk with him. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to walk with him. All right, bro. Hey, All right, man. Good talking to you, man. Hey, yeah, you too. Yeah. Nice, Paul, bro. It's nice to meet you, bro. Yeah. Mark Reed. Mark Reed. Mark Reed. All right, brother. Do y'all want to go that way, or? Yeah, I think it's that way, bro. You want me to put your speaker up? Yeah, actually, that that'd be wise. <clears throat> you got gospel tracks? You guys good? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, is it true that um everything will come to you? Like even at Jaws, right? I was at uh -huh. Jaws. I felt like the energy was against me. At Jaws. That's what removed in me, yeah. What, what, oh, like at the movie? Are no, Jaws. Oh, Jaws, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jobs and just, was it right for me to just leave that job? Well, you know, every situation is different, you know, because like that brother over there, he was actually called to just leave his job, you know? Okay. Not out of any frustration or anything like that, but the Lord was literally calling him out of that job. And when he did that, another job offer came as soon as he got home, you know? And so the Lord can, he can provide for you, you know, but let me say this, um, he'll do that for his children, you know, and that's why I'm pleading with you to become a child of God because he can, he can be a father to the fatherless, you know, and he is a father to the fatherless. I've even written a song called father unto me because the Lord's been a father unto me. You know, my dad wasn't really in the picture growing up, you know, I mean, that, that's an epidemic here in America though, you know, like a lot of fatherless homes, you know, but G, uh, God can be that father that we've always longed for, you know, and um, he, he's the best father. Like there, 
they're, they're just little tedious things that he does that I'm like, wow, he cares about that too. But I'll just give you an example. I mean, this is very small, but it's, it's so big to me because I cherish the little things he does for me too. But like, I, I was, I was uh, on break, right, uh, at work. And, you know, 12.30 is the end of my break. And um, thank you, sir. Uh, 12.30, huh? I didn't hear you. Oh, do this, huh? Oh, no, I've never been there. Mm. Um, but, you know, I, I was just uh, sleep. I, I, I was reading the word, and then I fell asleep after that, and my break ends at 1230. And as soon as I uh, fell asleep, I was like, oh, no, I'm late. And I saw the clock, and I was like, 1230. You know, that, that was the Lord that... that uh, um, that woke me up before I was late for coming back in. But I mean, that, that's just something that's so minute, so, something that's so small. But he does even bigger th things like that for his children, you know? And you have to be willing to submit to him and become a child of God, you know? It seems like, seem like nowadays I don't got no other choice but to come to him. Yeah. It seems like he's really hey, against I, I'll, me. Yeah, I'll say and that. It's like, that, 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 that's mm -hmm. a good thing that yeah. I got to, because he got to force himself on me now. Well, he like, he won't force good, himself, though? but he will put you in the burner to where it's like the only way out is through the doorway of salvation, you know, to where he, he won't like say, okay, you're going to follow me. Right. Right. So, so he'll put you in situations where you can still choose to rebel against him and be like, no, I'm not going to follow you, you know, or you can just take that doorway out because let me, it's like a, a furnace, right? And there's only two things you can do. You can stay in there and burn. Or you can go through that that door, which is Jesus Christ, out of there, and He'll save you. You know, it it's like it's like it's like this: you're a prisoner inside a jail cell, and you have the keys to get out, but it's like you still want to be in there. You know, you have you have the knowledge to get out of that jail cell, but it's just up to you to get out. You know, to use the keys to get out, and that those keys are Jesus Christ. Does that make sense? It makes sense, man. Yeah, it makes sense, man. I got a lot of stuff to think about, man. Yeah, man. Not for real, though, man. I already yeah. know. I already know. Like, I got to do right, man. I already know yeah, that, man. Yeah. See, that, that's the first step. Yeah, acknowledging, yeah. you know, that know you I'm have a problem wrong. before God. And I had to do the same thing, you know. And God, he it actually says in his, in his word, he resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. So if we humble ourselves, his arms are wide open all the time. But he says he resists the proud, those who think that they know best, those who don't think of themselves as sinners, that they need a savior. But on the contrary, you have the humble hearted to where they want to get right, excuse me, and all they have to do is just run into his arms, repent, believe the gospel, and trust in him and live for him all the days of your life, you know? That's what you have to do. Okay. Yeah. I got, I, I, I'm gonna read up on like. Yeah, do you have a Bible? Oh, I got a Bible at home. Okay, okay. Yeah, I just don't be understanding. Like, what I do, I go to YouTube and try to understand. Okay, me let me, because that, okay, that can okay. be dangerous, you know? And the reason why I say that is because you could un, you could read something, you're like, what does that mean? Let's Google this. And then you, someone who has the completely wrong uh, interpretation will, will feed that into you. So okay. one thing I'll tell you is that in order to understand his word, you need the Holy Spirit. And how you get the Holy Spirit is becoming a child of God, you know, being born again. You know, so once you're born again, John 14, 26 says that the spirit of truth is, is the one that teaches us all things, you know? Okay. So he can he can be that, that teacher that you're in need of when you read the word. But it, it's kind of pointless looking at soap if you're never gonna use it to clean. It's the same thing with the Word of God. It's pointless at reading it if you're never going to use it to actually, you know, apply it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you read it, apply what you actually understand. Like, I would start in the Gospel of John even tonight, you know? I don't know if you have anything planned, but all that should set, you know, really be second, right. you know? Here, yeah. Space. I know yeah, you're yeah. trying to, I don't know. Yeah. I got tired of being by myself at the house type mm -hmm. stuff. Well, that might have been the Lord just leading you here, you know? coming over here and pre uh, we preach the gospel to you, you know? But, you know, the Lord, he's definitely after your heart, Marquez. You just gotta be like, okay, I give it up to you, you know? Okay. And like I said, of course you don't have to answer to me, but just answer to God if you are willing to follow him right now. 
because right now he is calling you to just follow him. Cause it, salvation is not something where you have to wait to do. You know, it's not something that you have to be like, okay, I need this and I need that to get saved and I need to have this. I need to get right before I come to him and stuff like that. What you need to do is surrender your sin before him and then come to him, you know? So it's literally a U-turn, you know? You're on your way to hell right now, but there's a U-turn sign that pops up and it's saying, turn around. And it's up to you to take that U-turn and be like, okay. When he said, turn around. Yeah, when he said, yeah, exactly. Amen. Okay. So it, it's all your choice to just choose him, you know? He, he chooses you, and this is him choosing you to follow to follow him. Now it's up to you to, to choose him, you know? Man. What do you think about this? Yeah, yeah, I will. Amen. I will. Amen. Well, amen, Marquez. Lord bless you. You too, man. Y'all some strong people there too. Like, oh, all glory to God. Believe in what y'all believe it, it's in. It's his Nobody, strength. Bro, ain't no people yeah. can stop y'all. You know what I'm saying? Try to get y'all mind. So yeah, it's all believe. the Lord, bro. It's all the Lord. Yeah, yeah. That's why I respect yeah. like, yeah, Amen. When it's something positive, that's why I know. Even when I do like that, when I see hate the people, they do mm -hmm. the same thing. Yeah. That's how you know it's some God and it's amen. some devil. Amen. Amen, it's bro. Some spirits that just ain't interested. Yeah. Amen. That's the truth. Praise God. All right, Marquez, have a good one. Praise God. Good news, man? Yeah, they, they brought it. Right there. Yep. That was cool. Got the thunder power. <laughs> that scared me. It scared you a lot. No, well, because I, I was talking, I was not expecting that. So as I was saying, God commands oh, that was so cool with that cop. everywhere to repent. How he uh, flashes lights. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so... What it, so what happened when it's on? Yeah, so, it, I mean, uh, that one guy that with the shirt and everything, he came Marquez? back. No. Oh, with the shirt. Yeah, without the shirt, I mean. The guy that, like, did all this and stuff. So. Oh, he came back. Well, he, he was just, like... Like across the street over there. Well, regarding Marquez though, um, yeah, he uh, he, he was very humble-hearted. He, he just said, "I know that I'm, I, I know what I'm doing is wrong." And I was like, "Okay, you're you're literally so close to becoming a Christian, man. You gotta you gotta give your life to Christ, you know." And I just sparred into him about repentance and everything, and telling him all that. And he said, "I have a lot of stuff to think about." And I was like, "Okay, really, really." Praise God. We pray for him. Yeah, we, yes, we definitely got to talk to him. Yeah, he was. I just let him talk about, he said he's suffering. I let him talk about what that is. Amen. So. Amen, bro. Good news. Huh? Good news. Good news. You gotta turn from your sin. Turn from your sin. It doesn't matter the way you're living right now. What matters is when you come to Him, you change how you're living now and live the way He wants you to live. He's perverted. Yeah, I know. Salvation is a free gift. It's given to you freely. It's like a motor vehicle. If I give you a free car, it is free. It's all yours. You own it. But you still have to put gasoline in the car. You still have to insure this vehicle. Pay insurance. You still have to register this vehicle to the state. And yeah, now that the cop the is gone, bro, they're going to come out. Salvation, it changes who you are. I mean, they're already getting rowdy again. And if you go against that certain way, you know you don't have it. Really that just shows you how much authority a cop has. <laughs> crazy. I'm scared of a cop. Yeah. God, exactly. Or an angel. Exactly. I'm going to have to throw myself at his mercy. Oh, Your Honor, I'm so sorry for what I've done. I've truly broken and contrived over the fact that I drove drunk. And he's going to say, okay. If he's a good judge, he'll give me mercy. He'll say, okay, I forgive you. But I mean, here, like you need to sign this plea deal. This plea deal that tells like you you can no longer drink alcohol. So I sign the plea deal. I get my freedom back. And I go back in. I was a public and I drink alcohol. And I get drug tested. Guess what? I get thrown right back in prison. God is the same way. When you get salvation, if you go back to your sin, you're like a dog lapping up their own vomit. Uh, I get its tail and dirt when you're doing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, brother, uh, no, yeah. brother, uh, Sam was asking me, what should we do? I was just like, let's just pray. Turn to the Lord Jesus while you still have time. God cares about yeah, I, you. I, 
Well, brother Sam here was asking me, what should we do? I was happy. Let's just pray, Jesus bro. Christ trust is, the Lord. When you won't even die for him. As, I he mean, us, you, but are you gonna die for Jesus? us getting into that would have looked bad, yeah. you know. So I, I just God prayed for that. Yeah, he, there was, there was yeah, that, that we defended. The Lord was taking care of that. The uh, Hebrew Israelite actually did. You saying God isn't real? Yeah. Not yeah. The fact that he's real. yeah, he came up to me asking about the lost sheep and all that. And I was like, about the lost sheep. And I was just telling him, I'm preaching. He's going to talk to me. Yeah. That's why I got you over there. Yeah. I'm in glad fact, you ever wonder why God yeah. made his people Israel? Because he wanted you to was know he, he Was he Israel. humble? No, well, I answered his objections. Come on. Here's Amen. God you know, Obviously, there's a God. And he didn't bounce anywhere else. He, he tried to. I didn't let him. What Amen. God is. Yeah. And what he Amen. wants from you. Because I, I know God how they could be. Oh, yeah. yeah. They want to bounce you everywhere. I'm like, no, no. We're going to deal with this first. Amen, bro. You know? He couldn't really deal with it. Why would you continue in sin with sin with Jesus on the cross? See, exactly. Like, as soon as the cop leaves, that's so crazy, bro. Especially with the mic. Right. Structure. Yeah, I would never heard of it. Okay, well, I'm telling you how you were created. Well, you need, you need to 
so no, 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 no shit, no shit. If you do anything in your life, go home and Google xenobiology. And look at what you've done in technology. When you, CERN, when you, when you look, go home, look, when, look at what sorry, humans have sorry. done with CERN when you, when, and technology. Okay. Our entire cellular structure can be created. We created the most fucked up shit. So if you really want to do something in your life, stop that. Because that's fucked up. If you want to play God, stop doing xenobiology. Stop taking toad cells and creating them to walk the fuck across the street like we're God. That's the problem. Stop hating people and understand what you hate. That's the difference. That's why you're quiet, because you know it's true. You've seen it. It scares you. I'm not hating your God. I'm telling you to understand the enemy. Don't hate your people. Hate the problem. These people are not your fucking problem. We're not meant to judge them. We're meant to understand. We are not meant to rise above God. We're meant to understand our place in this life just like every other rabbit, dog, whatever. We were created for a purpose. Do you want to see the tears in your eyes because you know it? You know today you were meant to serve God, not attack people. Let me let me stop you so you can't take my peace. I'm not, I'm and you can't sorry. take my joy. I'm not to attack you. Well, you know I'm you're not, not made out here to do this. I'm just letting you spew your stuff. You. I'm letting you spew your stuff. You're not going to take my joy though. I got joy like a river. Huh? I got joy like a river. You're not going to take my joy. I'm not taking your joy. I'm encouraging you to do the right thing. Oh, that doesn't sound encouraging. Don't judge people and get caught up. You're judging us. I'm not. That's the beauty of it. I'm trying to help you. Stop coming up to this shit, attacking people. You chose to come from your house to here to attack people. And you know it. That's why you're faltering. God did not tell you to do that. God told you to stay at your house. Do not judge. Thou shalt not Bible doesn't say that. God told you that. And you know that. Why are you that. here? It does. Well, the you, Bible does. If you will actually listen, I can have a dialogue. I have translated the entire you're not, Jerusalem. You're not going to Would you like to see my credentials? I'll no, show you my I really don't care for that. I'll show you my entire I don't care. I don't care for I am absolutely transparent. I'm just ignoring that. The boy is waiting. God commands all men everywhere to repent. I see the wavering in your eyes. You know you're not supposed to be here. You know this isn't true to your heart. This is not what God wants you to do. God wants you to be a good human being. Return to your family and be a good human being. He loves you. He died for you. What are you doing with the Lord Jesus today? You are not God to be you to be judged. Thou shalt not, shot not judge. Thou shalt not judge. Return to your family and repent. You will have to examine the Bible. You're worried about me. Let's preach. Let's preach. God commands all men everywhere to repent. What are you doing with the Lord Jesus Christ tonight? You must turn in repentance. God never said to repent people. That's the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. With yeah, all your heart, mind, soul, and your strength. Strength. I see this means that you, you become a believer. You know what it's true. You are for Jesus. You, you know who you are. You, you, are. you, you will fail and you Jesus will fall. Jesus says, if any man will follow me, let us follow you. God never said go attack people. God said go home and be a good human being. Thou shalt not kill. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Would you want someone to come here and attack you for what you feel is right? Would you really want a human being to come here and attack you? You want in your heart you felt right. Right. Sir, can you give me my space? No, I'm not with God. Would you really want God to come here? Think about it. Think about it. I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying you're not supposed to judge. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying any of you are you judging him. I'm not. You're a hypocrite. No. Okay. Answer a simple question. Thou should not judge. Answer a simple question. Why are you here? You, you chose to come from your home to walk up here and attack people. Yeah, you're home. You're attacking me. I'm not. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. I'm not. I'm explaining you. You chose to come from your home to attack these people. And I'm not even gay. This is my life. God says why do you love me, but God 
I stand up for what God believes in. Right. Not force. Not by force. We don't need God. I believe in God. He created this earth. He created you. And the understanding. No. I can't stand aside. The understanding is you are faltering. Understand your wavering. Understand your faltering. You are chosen. You chose an anger and hatred. You chose an decisive deceit to come here and attack these people today. You are not better than the Russians and attack the train. You are the decisive thing that divides this nation. You are a piece of shit that destroys us. You are. I love you. And I love you. And I'll keep loving you. Remember the statement. No, you are the representative of David. Beware the false prophet, for his ignorance stands upon the valley of man, and he shall walk in darkness because he does not know his enemy. Right. 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 Right.
you pass out the conflict. They're not here for that. You're on the wrong side of mid time. You're trying to do that. Where you at right now? 
Are you serving the Lord? This is by far the worst it's ever been to my experience. Well, we endured, bro. We, we put Brother Sam through the fire, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we endured. You can mock God, you can laugh at God, but you won't be doing that on Judgment Day, I tell you that. And the Lord hell is no part yeah. of He's faithful. It's 10 million I mean, it'll, 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 That's the real danger of this. Then yeah. it's temperature yeah. outside. Yeah. Man. And it's not even Afghanistan. Yeah, we endure it for the Lord. Good news, guys. God is not a You want one, sir? I did, but my camera you, you know, it's just a rainbow from God. Did you get footage of that bad into your own pleasure. I like grabbing your no, bag. Bro. Yeah. God will judge you for that. My camera cut out for some reason. I checked. That rainbow belongs to the Lord. The Lord. Am I still going? Your battery's still good on that, too. Yeah, I appreciate that, bro. Thank you so much. You're welcome, bro. Good news, sir. About Jesus. So homosexuals will inherit the kingdom of God. We have to turn from that. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him did not perish. What was that guy talking about? You know, he died for all sinners, all color, all age. He's I think he was so much. Like, yeah, yeah. he, like his head was doing all this, like, like really I fast. Him in the name of Jesus, I think I mean, he truly was demonically him. possessed. You know, I was preaching, so I didn't pay too much attention. I, I, I wasn't gonna, because I was just really trying to just. He spit all over my face. Yeah. Too. Is it working, bro? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The news. No, thank you. Take care. The news. Follow Jesus. Jesus said in John fourteen six. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. What does it mean when Jesus said, I am the way? You're the only way. No, you're God's the devil. Oh, do you believe in one more? Just like Jesus said in John 8. You can't buy your way to heaven. You can't earn salvation into heaven. Jesus said this. He said, you're the Father, the devil. Jesus 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 said, you're the Father, the devil. Yeah, one devil. What the truth is, you don't got to go to hell. You don't have to go to hell, though. Hey, you don't have to go to hell. You can turn to Jesus. You know that lifestyle is sinful. You know that lifestyle is sinful. Are you serving God? You want to be saying that on judgment day? No. Not at all. No, that's not true. Nowhere in the Bible says that. Nowhere in the Bible says that. Liar. Temporary pleasure is not worth eternal torment. I'm going to say that again. Temporary pleasure is not worth eternal torment. It's not worth going to hell by being a homosexual. It's not worth going to hell to be a drunkard, partying. Having sex outside of marriage, fornication, God is not going to tell that. What's wrong? What, preaching the truth? No, none of us have. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. My, my, my son's too so And the Bible is the truth, and it is the Word of God, whether you like it or not. Oh, I remember you, man. I was, y'all very strong. Oh, all glory to God. Yeah, yeah, this guy is, he's given us favor here a lot. Whether it be using the bathroom, band-aids, or food. Hey, man, be careful out there. Yeah, man. I, I don't think I gave you that one ever. This gospel track? Some good news, man. Yes, sir. Just keep sowing in. Yeah, Lord bless. Take care. Yeah, one time. I mean, if he's done. No, I mean, once he's done. All you gotta do is repent. I could, I guess. One time, he was actually watching. Uh, well, one time, he actually saw where homosexuals really... And like how that demonically possessed guy was in your face. Yeah. There's a homosexual doing that in front of Matthew, right in front of him. He was watching the entire thing and he spit all over his face. And he saw all of that. So he, he's been continually watching us. I think he might come to the Lord. Amen. I hope so. There's a lot of abortions going on. And I just yeah, so into him, you know. It's wrong. It's murder. It's a sin. And God will not accept that at all into his kingdom. Thank you.
tell he just killed a little baby. They can tell he just what God bless you with. Yeah, that, that you can see the it. The most saddest yeah, yeah. thing you can ever do. Like, like, it's like, it's like they, that's the world they live in, bro. They lean out the weak. They, they attack the world. Yeah, he, he he called him all kind of names. Yeah, but called him so you know, the sound, the way he should go. And he and it, it, here's what he wants. I said he's a mocker. He didn't say that. That's ridiculous. I never grew up in a Christian home. I never knew the Lord. Yeah, the devil obviously has a, a way of attacking our insecurities, so to speak, you know. But, I mean, we're secure in Christ in that Amen. sense, you know. Oh, yeah. 100%. I wasn't scared or nothing yeah. like that, bro. I was just like, I was astonished, really. Right. Yeah, it's wrong. Man, that is wrong. You got to turn from it. It's destruction. Tell you as a heart. Wicked. Yeah, for sure. I got to turn from our sin. It's not worth living in this sin. Yeah, see that sea over there, that old man? Oh, yeah. That falsely the accused blue? us? Yeah, yeah, he's, been, yeah, he's been doing that. For They're faithful with their sea snatching, that's for sure. You drive, I'm going to It's up to you. You yeah, want to yeah, keep yeah. going, bro? You keep going. <laughs> The news, man. The real question sure. is, can I have a hug? No. <laughs> no, I will not hug you. Oh, your God sucks. Okay, you'll see on Judgment Day. Not your love, though. God is, just God is love, but if you truly love God, you're gonna lo love what He loves and hate what He hates. God is judgmental. Yes. Not your corrupted. You no, you're being judged. Yeah, That's why you're talking. He doesn't love them like that. He said repent or perish. That's yeah. love. That's true love. Amen. Amen. It's true love to tell people to repent. Love more. That's right. Love more. Love can't stay silent. If you're, if you're a so-called Christian, and you're going to church tomorrow, but after that, you're living in sin, and you're not, you're not a true Christian then throughout the weekday. You gotta live every day, every single second of your life as a Christian. We are commanded to do that. Yes, I am. New sir. Is that cool? What happened, bro? New sir. What happened? What happened? I, I, I'm hey, perfect Sam. in Christ. Sam. I'm perfect in Christ. Sam, stay out of sidewalk. Man. You just bumped something. I don't want anybody to say anything. Don't talk to that guy. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's trouble. Stay right here. Don't talk to that guy. A God-fearing man, you know what a God-fearing man is? Do you know? Do you know? You want to talk? You want to talk? You want to talk? God 3-3 says you, know, you must be born again. Fuck, don't touch me. Y'all racism is fucked. That's why y'all don't Jesus got no problem rocking with y'all. I already dragged him. That's why y'all don't got nobody rocking with y'all. Y'all racist is fucked. Look. No, don't, look, don't, look. don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. Don't respond. Don't hey, respond. Look, you do don't. Don't listen to this man. I'm a nice dude. He's just right. He's just right. I know that. I'm not a fan of 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 that. I'm not don't talk. Don't touch me. He's on your side, bro. I'm, 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 I'm don't side. give a fuck. Don't touch me. Don't touch anybody. Don't touch anybody. Fucking touch fake ass Nobody touched anybody. Y'all talking shit on the motherfucking corner. Like y'all got motherfucking. What what do y'all hey, got? Don't touch it, bro. Don't Shut don't the touch. fuck up. Oh, I, 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 you, don't don't you know, we're taught in kindergarten don't not to touch, touch each other. Your bitch ass will sit on the side. Your bitch ass will sit on the fucking side. Yeah, just like this. Get away from Yeah, I do. Yo, Jens, wait. Why you guys doing this? I can't. I can't. Because we love our neighbors. We love God. Just don't touch. I didn't touch. I didn't touch. It's a dog free Like, I hear this when I live over in the morning. It's the reason why I'm here. I don't touch people, man. But we have a cut off time. I know, man. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. You're a racist. Yeah. You keep it. Yeah. My wife's black. I'm so racist. Yeah. 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 Y
I'm not going to shut up. I will defend you in the name of Jesus. I bind you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. You have no authority on this corner in the name of Jesus Christ. You have no authority on this corner of Jesus. No authority in Jesus' name. Yes, you're a bully. Satan's a bully. Just like this man, he's a bully. You see the violence? You see the violence? You see? This is the love in this community right here. This is the love in this community right here. This is the love right here. This is the love right here. This is the love right here. You see the hatred? You see the hatred? You see the hatred? Right here. I'm love. You see the love of the Holy Spirit with the brain in this man. Look, look, turn to all Jesus Christ. Work together. Turn to Jesus Christ. For those that love God, and you don't all love God. Things. You don't love God. All things were you together. You can't love God. God. We don't love 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 This is the love in this community right here. They actually hate. I rebuke the violence. The violence and the hatred of this community is a mess. I find in hand and fire. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. You have no authority over here. You have no authority over here. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Because I want you to be free. I want you to be born again. Don't touch me. I want you to be born again. Don't touch me. I want you to be born again. I'm not rich. 
Ritz, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bring your cracker. Oh, I'm a Ritz cracker. Okay, that's what, that's what racists do. They hate whites. They're racist. They hate, hate, hate. You're not, you don't love anybody. You can't pick and choose. You, you folks don't love anybody. You cannot love because you don't have love. You want to destroy me. You want to, you want to commit violent acts against me because I told you the truth. I become your enemy because I tell you the truth. I don't call you to Jesus. You don't call me to Jesus. I don't call you to Jesus. I don't call you to Jesus. I want you to be saved. I don't want you to go to die and go to hell. Don't you understand the judgment that's ahead of you? Don't you understand that when you die in your sin, you're gonna go to hell? Oh, turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus, folks. We want to see you born again. I'm your best friend right now. No, my man, no, you're good. You're good. No, man, don't touch me, man. Stop touching people. Can't y'all control yourself? Great, good, good. But, but that's not gonna get you out of heaven. Come on, man. He can't protect for long. 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 He can't protect you for long. What is wrong with this guy, man? You were convicted. Why don't you just repent? Why don't you just repent? I'm not talking to you, man. Why don't you just repent instead of getting angry? You're doing exactly what people did to Jesus. You're doing exactly what people did to his servants. They killed them. They did violence against them because you don't know God. Jesus protects me. Yes, God protects me. When God wants me to die, I'm going to die. When God chooses. It's called commencement. No, man, you don't know what you're talking about. Your God, you know you your God is the devil, young man. No, no, you, you need to turn know. to Jesus. No, what are you you need to turn to Jesus. Where's your camera? Turn to Jesus. Oh, hold on. As a turn to Jesus. As a recovering it doesn't matter what Allah. you're recovering from. You need, you, you need to repent of your sin and be born again. You need to repent of your sin and be born again. I fasted for Ramadan. I fasted. I fasted. You know. I know a lot of. No, no, I fasted. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You know Jesus. I want you to be saved, young man. I want you to be born again of the Spirit. You got 30 minutes here. You got 30 minutes here. You got 30 minutes here. You're right. 11 o'clock. We got to go. That's right. Well, we don't necessarily have to go. We just have to stop using our loud speaker. No, we don't. You have no authority on this corner, sir. You have no authority on this corner. No. No. You have no authority. The Bible says. Stop being racist. Stop being racist. Stop being racist. The Bible says a devil minded man. And we're not devil minded. And we're not devil minded. Minded. We're not double minded. It's not worth it, man. You cannot win and you can't force people. You can't force people to listen to you. Beating people up doesn't get you anywhere. Beating people up will not get you anywhere. It's just going to make you a bigot. It's going to make you hateful. Things are not answered with physical violence. Why do you want to do violence against me? Why? Because of what I said. Why are you judging? Why are you judging me? You're judging me. You're judging me. You're corrupt. You're corrupt. My man, you've been here all night. Why are you so mad? Because you're, because you're convicted. Because you're convicted. You're convicted. Because you're convicted of your sin. Your white ass can come down here on our holiday. Bitch, because you're convicted of your sin, and instead of repenting, you're on your way to hell. Turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus Christ. Be born again. You see the hatred? These are, this is what you get when you preach to the homosexual community. Hate. Nigga, you ain't preaching shit. You're talking shit about the homosexual community. Get your goddamn vocabulary right. You uneducated piece of shit. Fuck Fuck you, fuck no, you, and like fuck you. Y'all are you fucking dumb. That's, 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 that's why you're trying to go against these people. No, no. no. You said that you're saying to me. No, no. You're saying that you're saying to me. 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 You can't walk away because you're convicted. No, no, because guess what? If we were standing here talking shit about your God, you'd be doing the same thing. You'd be defending it, you piece of shit. Judge little pieces of shit. Real fucking Christian. And we're the only ones out here telling you that you can be free in Jesus Christ. Be free in Jesus Christ. Don't worry, I'll take my videos to church and my preacher will fucking agree with me. My heterosexual preacher will agree with me. Doesn't matter. What does the Bible say? I care about my heterosexual preacher, you fucking dumbass. I care about what the Bible says, you don't. I'm sorry for your mother that she raised such a piece of shit. Well, God loves me.
Stop that nonsense. Nobody said that. Stop lying on me. You said homophobic. No, we're not homophobic. We're not scared of homosexuals. We love Jesus. And we want them to be born again. Stop lying about what I said. Your mama's going to hell. Turn to Jesus. Okay. Your mama's going to hell. Okay. Look at the racist. Call me cracker. What a racist. What a racist. Why don't you be healed? Why don't you be born again, man? Why do you act like this? Why are you so violent? Why are you so violent? I told you to turn from your that's my dream. I want you to be saved. What I say? What you say? What did I say? Wait, Mark, you're going to jail. I didn't say that. I'm going to hell. You didn't say that. You're on a gay road. You need to turn to Jesus. Hey, you know. Turn to Jesus. 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 Turn to J
How much? Those are not Christians. Hey, hey, the the that's right. They were. Hey, that's right. But then that doesn't mean I'm not a Christian. You don't know anything, sir. You're just you're just rambling. You don't know anything. No, you're a fucking jackass. Okay, that's all you got. That's all you got. Yeah, I don't know. That's all you got. Okay, yeah. So says you. Who doesn't even know the scriptures? Will you please, dude? Why can't you control yourself? He's still here because he's convicted. He's, see, there we go again. He can't control himself. He can't control himself. You understand that there's a difference between religion and you don't know anything, man. I'm not talking to you. You don't know anything about Jesus. You don't want to hear the truth. You don't want to hear Jesus. You don't love Jesus. If you love Jesus, you'd be holy. You'd be walking in faith in Christ. You'd be walking in faith in Christ. Oh, folks, turn to Jesus. Christ, God loves you in this. Don't touch me. God loves you in this. He loves you that he died on the cross for you. He shed his blood for you. If you don't want his blood, you don't want to be clean. You want to hold on to your sin. Last time, do not touch me. Can you control yourself? You know how to control yourself. I'm not doing anything illegal right now, but you are if you touch me. So do not touch me. Actually, actually, the cops were out here and said we're just fine. You cannot, you cannot hinder our freedom of speech. Hey, can you listen to me? It, yes, it's ugly because you don't know the truth. But the truth is, is that if you walk in sin, you're going to be condemned. And God doesn't want to condemn you. God doesn't want to condemn you. He wants you to be born again in Christ Jesus. He wants you to be born again. So turn from your sin. Turn from your sin and turn to Jesus by his love. By his love and grace. Turn to Jesus. See, you can't control yourself either. You have an angry demon. See, there it is. There it is. Angry demon. You have an angry demon inside of you. Why don't you turn? You're not being very loving. You're not being loving. You're not being loving. You're not being loving. Did they steal my hat? Yep, there we go. They stole my hat. That's the love in this community right there. They steal my hat and throw it in the throw it in those roads. You just want to throw it in the road. Back up, man. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Don't be a baby. Back up. Back up. Back up. See, this is this is it right here. This is it right here. You wanna suck fire? You see that? Look at him. He's setting fire to my hat. He's setting fire to my hat. You see that? That's what wicked devils do. That's what wicked devils do right there. They set fire to have my property. You see that? You see that? That's the that's the love right there in this community, right there. That's the love right there. Right there. No, so no, we don't fight. We love you. We don't we don't we don't want we don't want you to be hurt. We don't want you to go to hell. And we're not gonna fight you. Oh yeah. You see the hate right here. Wake up. Yes, you're the hater. Yes. You are the hater. Yes, you are. This man stole my hat and wants to burn it. You think? And he doesn't care. You see you're hating me. You're hating me. You're hating me. This community is full of hatred. You hate God, you hate the Bible, and you hate preachers of righteousness. There goes the sign. You see that? They're stealing my sign now. You see that? Go over there and look. They're stealing. My man, I'm done with you. I'm not messing with you. I'm done with you, man. God doesn't love that. No, man. You need to repent and be born again. God doesn't love that. No, man. Don't touch me. Don't touch the speaker, man. Don't touch this. Don't touch me. Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my speaker. Control yourself. Control yourself. Where are the cops at, man? Where are the cops at? Where are the cops? Okay. Well, this is this is what happens right here. This is what happens right here. Physical violence. You see what happens right there? They steal my stuff. They take my hat. They burn my hat. There it is right there. Oh, yeah, they would. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. They've touched me. They touched me already. They threatened to kill me. I've had people threaten to kill me today. Oh, but that's love, right? That's love. You're so loving to the tallest preacher. You're so loving. You see? Yes. I've read the Bible. Have you? You see that? Now they're throwing bottles at me. You see that? You see that? You see that? This is what happens. Devils in us? 
They're doing violence against us. You see that? They're destroying my side. Go away, man. Go away. You don't love. That's love. You don't love anybody. You're full of hatred and bigotry. You need to turn to Jesus. You have no hate. You have no love in you. No, you have no love in you. Yeah, I know God loves me. Look at you. See? You, have, you can't control yourself. The demons are manifesting right now. They're manifesting right now. You see this? This is not love. This is hatred. This is hatred. Don't touch me. Back up, man. Back up, man. Back up, back up, back up. God loves you, okay? God loves you, honey. Hey, man, stop it. What's wrong with you, I don't know what he wants. What is wrong with you? Y'all the motherfucking pockets. Hey, guess what? God loves you. Stop touching me. Can you control yourself? Hey, God loves you, okay? And you, and you. God loves everybody right here. God loves you guys, okay? Don't worry. It ain't contagious. If you ain't gay, you ain't Let's just sit here for a second. This is Sodomy tomorrow. Yeah, it is.
right He's so crazy. He's crazy. You okay in the camera? <laughs> <laughs> you okay in the camera? And I saw you. I saw you fucking with a nigga. 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 I
Did you want your sign bar or just keep no, it? What are y'all doing? God no, don't say nothing about chasing y'all. They've been fucking them with all these years. Jesus saves, but them. Jesus saves, but what are you doing? Are you saying? Just ignore them. I'm not talking to them. No, just ignore them. You don't care. You talk to God. You don't care. You talk to God at all? Expect to be followed. Good job protecting that sign, bro. Oh, it's a grab. Oh, with that? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. You're ready, bro. Yourself, Congratulations. I, I, I mean, if, they, if they're going to get violent to take it, I'll just give it to them. Yeah, but, but I mean, you're at least going to put up a fight yeah, a little I bit. Mean, like, yeah, I mean, for sure. Not a fight, but like, you're going to have to have my sign. Yeah, that guy slapped me so hard. He slapped you? Yeah. You okay, bro? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. Damn. I mean, all glory to God, you know. Bro, I didn't even know. But it actually it. ministered to someone. Yeah, he, he slapped me really, really hard. Bro. Um, and I, I, Let me see I, your I, eye, bro. Huh? Let me see your eye. It was it's like little, Yeah, this. your eye's a little red on the side, bro. Yeah. Man. But it actually ministered to someone else. Good, good. Who, yeah, nice. I can't wait to share it in the car. Bro, praise we're not God. being followed. We had a, we had a, uh, I, I talked to a transgender dude just now that named Austin for like okay. when that whole thing was happening. Amen, Gave him bro. the reality. Yeah, story. it happened when you were talking to him. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, bro. You know when that guy slapped me really hard? You okay, bro? Yeah, I, I still feel it a little, but I'm sorry, bro. No, no, it's good, bro. All glory to God, you Rejoice, know. Bro. Yeah, God. that's what I'm saying. No, like, I, I was just slapped me too. Rejoice. Yeah, she slapped you too. Huh? But I just ignore them. But you know, um, we're gonna go left too. Well, let's, I think we should get out of sight first. I mean, we can. I, I we can get out of sight. Okay. Yeah, we can get out of sight. But uh, yeah, when that guy slapped me, it ministered to some people. Like yeah. this guy came up to me and was like, "Bro, I'm so like." He was almost in tears. He was yeah. like, "Bro, I, it was one of the homosexuals that got in your face, like mm -hmm. really violent." Yeah. And he was like, "Bro, it's I'm sorry the, that happened to you." I, and I was like, "It's fine." Over. Yeah, then we, we can, can. Then we can link around the parking lot. Yeah. But it Wait, ministered to him. God, Look at that sign. Oh, you brought the sign. Well, we're haters, but they burned our sign, our yeah. hat, and slapped us in the smacked face. Smacked us in the face, but we're haters, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, keep telling yourself that. That's yeah. that's calling good yeah. evil and evil good right there. That's calling good evil and evil good right there. Turn the other cheek, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Good job turning the other cheek today. That seed snatcher's following us. Good job, man. Great job. Yeah, I think he was coming back for more. I was willing to give him another, huh? Hey, why are you following us? Stop following Don't us. Don't follow us, bro. Don't follow us. Don't follow us. Don't tell me what to fucking do. Don't follow. Don't us. follow us, bro. I'm not following. All you. right. Walk call the police. Call the police. We're call gonna stay right here. Call the police, bro. Call the police. About to. About to. You're not gonna follow us, man. That's and we're not intimidated by you, just so you know. We're not scared. We fear either, God, bro. and we don't fear man. You've been seat snatching all night, bro. You've been provoking people to violence, man. And you got a camera. You're wicked, bro. You're wicked. Guy right here has been provoking people to violence. Yeah, he, all God's, night, gonna, God's got God's got his God's, Yeah, God's gonna, God's gonna condemn this guy. Just don't worry about him. Yeah, the, the cops. I mean, there's even a waiting line for the. Hey man, good night. Have a good night. God loves you. God loves you. Have a good night. There's even a there's a waiting list for yeah, uh I when I call <laughs> yeah like if someone was murdering me I'd be murdered you know well he's still gonna that's follow city us. of Atlanta yeah, the Lord protect us he's yeah still us. that's all right let him follow us let him follow us it's all right God's watching I mean what can man do after all yeah you should follow Jesus though you're just that We're convicted Jesus you are going in the right direction man. Just get a little humble Oh man. I think for pride, it'd yeah, be better to stay during the day. It like yeah, it get, it gets really, really bad at night. Yeah. And crazy, there's you no okay, way. Bro? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. You feel any clicks or anything? Well, I feel uh, stinging all over. Okay but it? Well, yeah, it's all it's all good. He was more so up, top, uh, up top. Your ear? Is your ear No, he, he slapped me like this. I, oh, I still good. feel his like handprint, yeah, so. so. You, you took it in nicely. Yeah. And I didn't have any whiplash or backlash or anything, so. Yeah, I was actually looking up and I was like, just kind of inner, innerly rejoicing. Don't worry, we don't fight. Go ahead. Come with us. Come with us. Come on. Go ahead. We want to talk. Come on. I don't want to talk to you. I'm just walking. Okay, let's walk. Come on. Let's walk, bro. Come on. This is way. This way, right? 
Yeah, yeah, we. I, 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 okay. Yeah, go ahead. Fix the hey, so you Christian, bro? <coughs> yeah. You know Jesus? You just yeah. used the F word back there. I don't yeah, think you know, know Jesus. You know Christians don't curse, right? Yeah. Christians don't curse. No, they do. No, they, no, they don't. don't. You, 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 you know how to see you are? You, you, you've never uh, listened to preachers? Hold on. You said you've never? Preachers that curse are not real preachers. Yep. Understand well, that. Well, yep. that's according to your definition. No, that's according no, to the Bible. Jesus, Jesus said no, by, by listen, the Lord. So, no, so have, you talked directly to, have you talked directly to Jesus? Yes. Yeah. Well, these other people say they have too. It doesn't but, matter. Because what the Bible says is how Jesus' character really well, that's is. You'll know what tree by its fruit, man. No, no, it's what God's word says. God's word. You'll know a tree by its fruit. It's God's word. That's what God's word says. Jesus said you shall know them by their fruit. And you can see the fruit of the people out there tonight. I hope you wake up, Christian. You say you're a Christian. You're on the wrong side of the fence. You really are. You're in danger of hellfire because you're doing exactly what the hypocrites did to Jesus. Yep, exactly. You witnessed against him when they were preaching the gospel. And they killed the prophets and they killed Stephen and all the apostles save one because of people like you. Yep. Okay. When they were preaching the message of God. You better hear the word of the oh, Lord. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. You better hear the word of the Lord because the fear of God is wisdom. Yep. You don't treat God's people like that. You don't do that. Give it to God's people. No, they're not. No. They're children no, of God. No, no, they're not. They're Everybody's a no. 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 The, Bible's, hold on, hold on. God. the Bible says we're all a creation of God, but we're not all children of God. Children of God are those that have repented of their sins and believe in Jesus Christ by faith, and they're walking in the fruits of the Spirit. They're walking in holiness. You got a testimony. We tomorrow. came out so, here. So you we, antagonizing. You, you, antagonizing you, you call it antagonization because of the way they reacted. No, to because you come out here with loudspeakers and you start antagonizing. No, people. we don't antagonize anybody. We share what the gospel is, and that stirs people up because they're sinners. Wait, you're That's a Christian? What, hold, you on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, so, so that 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 is why they're stirred up because of the conviction of sin. We're no, you're the stirred truth. up. There's no. See, you're feeding you're off of that. You're feel, you're no, feeding, we're not. You're feeding off of that because you think that if they antagonize you no. or they if they get mad because no. you're sitting there bad no. then you're all of a sudden you're no. you're Jesus Junior because no. you think you think oh. that oh well Jesus was persecuted I'm getting persecuted nope. and I'm That's just going to false judgment. Persecution is only blessed when it's for his name. You're going to twist every word around. So there's no, no you don't know the Bible. You don't, you don't know, know the Bible, Bible, dude. You don't know the You Bible. don't read the Bible. You don't know what Jesus even said. We're following Jesus. We walk Okay, we well then follow Jesus' song. No, we're going to sit here and talk to you. Yeah, we're we're going to talk, talk to, to you. you. Walk away, bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to tell you this by the fear of God. You better stop messing with God's people. Because okay. we're, we're not going to attack anybody. We, we're Christian. We don't we don't believe in violence. We were even slapped tonight, bro. Even though... Even though violence the is done to like, us. Say, for instance, like First Baptist, you familiar with First Baptist Church here? Bap you Char there's some Baptist theology you know, that's you know, wrong. Or are you familiar with Charles Stanley? Charles Stanley's a heretic. Yep. He's a heretic. Yep. His teaching is heresy. Yep. He used to be good when Leonard Ravenhill first came into the country and mm -hmm. Charles Stanley brought him in, but he turned to a different gospel. We're not all sinners, okay? The Bible doesn't call us sinners. It says all have sinned, past tense. But in Christ, we stand free and cleansed in the blood and filled with the Holy Amen. Spirit. You saw out there tonight, we're just preaching the gospel. We weren't doing violence to anybody. They burned my sign, they took my hat, burned my hat, slapped him to next Sunday, slapped me, I got poked in the eye three times, I got a man grabbed my bag and threw me around every day, and I know you were provoking people. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. I was telling okay. people to get off. I was telling people to get off. You were over there across the street stirring up. No, I wasn't. I was, oh, telling them, I was telling them to give y'all until 11 o'clock, y'all were going to be out of there. Yeah, that's, when the, that's right. That's when the sound system well, has to be Well, we technically don't have to leave, yeah, but we did. have to know. We don't have well, to leave. Well, you can't have to leave. You're right. You can't use your sound system. That's right. And we know the ordinance. We've been preaching in Atlanta for 26 years. I have. Okay? So, but, but I knew, I mean, I, I, that's what I kept telling the folks. I said, just let them have their time. 11 o'clock, they no longer have a sound system. And without a sound but, system, but nobody can hear you. Here's the thing. So I wasn't provoking a damn person. When you're filled See, with the Holy you're, Spirit, you're making up lies, no. which is not Christian at all. I heard you're sitting there telling me. I heard me, you. He well, said he heard I heard you, You bro. couldn't hear across I the was street. Still, you were right okay, beside okay, okay, me. Okay, okay, okay. No, I heard you. I sat there and pulled off one of the guys off of you. I'm they going, were trying to, listen, listen. So listen, you're going to twist everything I'm going around. off of a testimony, okay? Okay? I'm going off of a testimony of what you said. If, if you didn't do that, forgive me. But if you truly did do that, no, I didn't. I was telling lying. these people because you, have, I have a First Amendment right to say what I want to say. Sure you, you have do. a First Amendment right, absolutely. But the, but where it stops is eleven o'clock. You no longer have a sound system. We can't have a sound system. We know and that's that. That's what I told these people. I said, we let them that. say whatever they're going to do. You don't have to agree with it. Just we, let them talk. And I said, just that. because they were there were people that were about to get in trouble. Of course. 
And we, was, we experience this all the time. This is nothing new for us. This is nothing why, new. Why keep doing it? Because we love them. Jesus said, greater love has yep. no man than that he should lay his life down for his friends. We go out because we don't want people to go to hell. Yep. We want them to be saved from their sin. And so we tell them what's taking Where them Where y'all from? Y'all ain't from Atlanta. Well, I've, I've been preaching in Atlanta for about... I'm not saying how long you've been preaching in Atlanta, but you're not, you don't live That's here. That's none of your business. Yeah, we don't have to give That's that, sir. Yeah, so I mean, you're, you're only you're from here. Why don't you let the people in, in, in the community... That's irrelevant. That's none of your business, though. It doesn't matter where we're from. What matters is, is that we preach the Word of God. And you see what that... Based on your definition. No, based on the Bible. The based on your definition. We're because you got to respect... But you got to... In order for me to respect what your beliefs are, you've got to respect what all the other people are. Jesus never respected anybody else. But every, but you know what? Here's the thing: is that every every Christian group, there's over two thousand Christian denominations. They call every, themselves Christian. Everyone claims that they have the right. They have. Jesus the right said there'd be many false Christs. That's right. He said narrow was but, the way but, to but, the but every of them, every right. single one yeah. of them, says yeah. exact same thing you do. Okay. So no. just respect them. Let them do what they want to do. Like, well, Listen. you know, you can do what you want to do. You can say what you want to say. You have a first amendment right. You don't to really that. love them. You don't tell them the truth. You know you don't. Do you believe that homosexuals are on the way to hell if they don't repent? Depends on what, what religion you, you oh, follow. Wow. We're asking you. But, we're I mean, asking you what you don't, don't, don't even know the but truth. But it's not, it's not my, my job to get into somebody else's business no. and tell Mark them what you would, would say, say or not. You would, you would say, say that. that. But Jesus commands us to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Mark 16, 15. Mark, Mark 16, Matthew 25, 28. 28. Right? Because we have no. He see, here's the good go thing: is we're in the United States of America. Freedom of speech. We got freedom of speech. We got freedom of religion. That's right. Just like you have the right to, to practice your religion. If their religion, if they, if they're a different denomination of Christianity, and we're not, Christ, we're not, then not they have, then that. they have their right to do that. Sure do. And everybody needs to be respected. No, nope, they don't need to be respected. They have the right to do that. But I'm going to tell them the truth because I love them. Okay? Because God's going to hold me accountable on the truth I have to share. And that's what we do. We preach the gospel. That's fine. You can so, say whatever you want to say. That's what I said. I you're, respect, you're lost right now. You I, 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 I respect, I respect what, what your rights are, but you got to respect other people's rights. We don't have to respect beliefs. Now, they're free. You don't, have to, you don't have to respect them. They, they can be wrong, but I, they're free I don't. To say if somebody they wants want. to believe in a purple elephant up in the sky, right, they can do it. They can do that. And, I don't, and I'm going to tell them they're wrong. And I have the right to do that. But I have to respect that. No, I don't. You don't, don't have to respect, respect that. a lie. You don't have to respect no. it. We can let them do it. That's, that's respect. Respect. respect is not approval. Listen. No. There's a difference. No, Jesus never respected any other any other lies in the world when he was preaching. He, never, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man yep. comes to the Father by me. Amen. That's disrespectful to every other religion in the world. Yep. yep. Disrespectful. Because Jesus is the way. He's God. Matthew and every other right. Christian, or uh, just, I won't say every, because there's like I said, there's like, just in the Christianity, there's over 3,000 denominations. But, here's but the everybody thing. has that same... That are, you, same are you living here's holy? The thing. Here's the thing. They're all going to stand before God. Yes. And God's going to weed out the sheep from the goats. The wheats and the tares. The wheats and the tares. The parable of the wheats and the tares. That the enemy came in and sowed seed among the wheat. Sowed, sowed weeds. And they grew up Man, with bro. the tares. And at the end of the, at the judgment, God's going to separate those wicked tares from the right wheat. And then narrows the path. Very okay. few people find it. Jesus said in Matthew 7, there's going to be a lot of people coming to me saying, Lord, Lord. These are so-called Christians coming to Jesus saying, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name. We heard your word in the streets. We did many wonderful works. We had this big ministry. We did all these things in your name, Lord. And Jesus says in Matthew 7, he said, depart from me, ye that work iniquity, sin, I never knew you. He said right before that, the only ones who enter the kingdom are those who do the will of yeah, his Father. I know, I know all this. Okay, it's good. in the Bible. I mean, you can read right. the Bible. You can read the Bible. So, I mean, you can read the we, stuff. That listen, do, listen. It's going to change me. We're not going to stop anybody from believing what they want. They can get in our face, curse us. They cannot touch us. They cannot destroy my equipment. That's against the law. And I'm showing a lot of Christian mercy and grace by not getting the cops and filing assault charges on several different people tonight. We That's Christian on. grace. We have yes. it all on camera. I could go right now and do that lawfully, but I'm not going to do it because Jesus said, if someone slaps you on your right cheek, offer him the left cheek. Yep. That's what we live by. Amen. Yep. And we will die by this as well, by God's grace, that some might be saved. This is, this is what's going to happen in the last days. But Jesus is returning one day, and he's going to destroy all the wicked, all those that, that came against him, all those that killed his prophets. There's, there's Christians right now being murdered all over the world. Because they love Jesus and they preach the truth. They are. And they're being they're being killed. 
this gospel is going to stir up that reaction. We don't come out here to get that reaction. Yep. I would rather people come up. Mm -hmm. there, there's been several tonight. One guy in particular that had tears in his eyes that yep. really wanted to know God. Yeah. We talked with him. We labored with him. So just because they react that way doesn't mean the message is bad. Yeah. It's because well, there's other ways to do it. Okay. There's other ways to do it, but that doesn't mean that way is wrong. You could yep. go one on one like we're talking. You could form a relationship with someone, being careful that you don't start sinning like them to lead them to Christ. You could pass out tracks. There are other ways to do it, but it's, that doesn't mean that way is wrong because they preach it like mean that. that way is right either. Yes, it does. It's biblical. Jesus said in John chapter eight, "You're of your father, the devil." He had some strong words for those that said they believed in him. Whitewashed tombs. For those that said they believed in him and they really didn't, they lived. They lived like wicked devils. Their fruit was wrong. Lip service. Man. So, you know, all this, God's going to reward me for all these things. Man, bro. Okay? In the Bible, it says that blessed are you when men shall revile you and speak evil against you for my name's sake. Yes, falsely we are accusing. blessed. Falsely, they falsely accused us to the police. Said we yeah. hit people. We said, they said we assaulted somebody. We hit somebody. You what know, you one guy to threatened police? to kill me tonight. You were talking to the police. What did you say to them? No, I work with them. So. Oh, okay. One guy threatened to kill me tonight. No, I'm not work for them, but I work with them. Okay, so you told them the truth about what happened? No. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for being a, a witness. Appreciate that. And telling them the truth. So, you know, so that's really it. I mean, that's why I kept telling these folks, I said, just give them their 11 o'clock. Because once 11 o'clock, you can't, I mean, there's too much road noise. Well, we can't have electronic amplification after 11. Right. We could still be there, but I'm going to get home to my wife. Right. So. Well, I mean, but you can't, but, you know, on that corner, or any, you know, once you've got traffic, if I'm this close, we're this far, far apart, you can't hear Right. That's why I kept telling these people, if, if you don't like it, give them 11 o'clock, they're gone. You know, but see, here's the them, thing. Because getting, getting into fights is not, is not the solution. Of course not. Of course not. And that's what I'm trying to fight. They can't help them be that way because they're convicted. In the Bible, in the Bible, you see people getting convicted by their actions. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. 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 In the Bible, you see people getting convicted, and you see different reactions. One reaction, like, like uh, the Philippian jailer, when there was an earthquake and he came out, he was like, oh, man. What do I do to be saved? He was repentant. He was about to kill himself. Yeah, he was about to kill himself. Thief on the cross, adulterous woman, they were all repentant. But there were others, like the Pharisees and those that were Jews that said they believed in Jesus, but they really didn't, that wanted to kill them. They stoned Stephen. They, they wicked people all over the world killed 11 of the apostles except for one, which was John. And he got banished to Patmos for yep. a season. He died an old man in so Ephesus, I think, in But, but How here's he the left. thing. This is... Jesus said I think it was one of something to happen. He said, if they hate yeah. you, just know that they hated me already. I don't think I'm I were going to like beat this dude up or something. The only thing Jeez, I preached bro. when I first got out here people, you was 1 Corinthians gonna 13. You. And it's love. That's the love chapter. But it's not that love. That love is not God's love. So I read out of the chapter in 1 Corinthians 13 what God's love looks like. And they got mad at me. You're a bigot. You're this. You're hateful. I'm like, I'm just preaching on love. That's all I'm doing. And I'm telling you the truth that you don't love God. You don't love us. And if you keep walking in this sin, you're going to go to hell. If I didn't love them, I wouldn't tell them. You see what I'm saying? So that's our motive. We didn't come out here to stir up people. We don't want people to but that's, that. But you know that's going to happen. How many, how many times have you happened gone to out? the apostles? How many times have you gone out and you not stirred up and, and, and it's all been some times. Most, some probably the vast majority. I mean, a majority of times. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't it's not get even that crazy. Percent. That's 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 actually a minority of times where that happens. Yeah. We don't really face that a lot. But it does happen from time to time. And I've been knocked out before. I've yeah, and then the other thing is, is, is y'all coming on Juneteenth. So that stirs up a lot of shit. You what, got four what, white what people coming. What about Juneteenth? Out. He's, not white. White. He's not white, bro. I'm married to a black woman. So My wife's black too, oh, bro. So, but, I mean, I what mean, I'm saying is, is they see you as, as, as you know, It doesn't matter what they see us as. It doesn't, doesn't have anything to do with me. But you got to realize that's the perception. Okay. So, but so, perception, y all, y all, so why would you even do that? On, so so on, if we never do it, the perception will never change. Right. Why would you do that on Because Juneteenth? we want the perception to change. It's not about Juneteenth. We just came out because we we're led to come out. We do this every weekend. It's not just Juneteenth. You don't do that. You don't come out here every weekend. Juneteenth has nothing to do with homosexuality. It has every... It, it, actually, no, but, June, but, but, but there's a black club right there on the corner. It don't matter. And, we were and, preaching against you know black his, people. Yeah, come but, on. But, I mean, what I'm saying is, but you see the perception. Please, man. Perception don't matter. Juneteenth was... That, a, that's why That's why some of those folks were getting real mad. Juneteenth was a Texas holiday first. Did you know that? You know what Juneteenth represents? It's a good holiday. It represents the full freedom of the slaves. Yeah. And so they, I'm glad they made it a federal holiday. So that's not why we came out here, though. We but come see, out... But, we, but I'm not we saying that was, but I'm just saying is, I'm not saying that y'all were against it, but that's perception. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> 
dude. So why why do something that's gonna stir people so, up? So you're so saying you they know, judged us wrong. I'm not saying that. <laughs> no, hey, man. no, but I'm you're saying, saying hey, but you're saying you're saying that, that this was worse than, than usual. Well that's part of it. No. That was worse than usual because those individual sinners that were wicked that did that. It had nothing to do with Juneteenth. Uh, it's because yeah. they're wicked and they do violent things towards preachers. Nothing to do with Juneteenth. Well, no, they wouldn't do anything. They don't go out searching for preachers it's because y'all came into what they consider their, their, their space. Okay, let me ask you a question. I mean, that's you look all crosswalk. over the city of Atlanta. You see homosexual advertisements. You see it on the news. You see it on television. Do I get mad and I want to go commit violence against homosexuals? No. They're free to do what they want to do. I'm not going to be violent towards them. But we get violent towards us. We get violent towards No, you chose towards to go to the Rainbow Crosswalk. We've been there many times. And that's why We've been there this is going to stir up shit. Okay, so. I mean, you know, it is. So, I mean, so, so you know, when, when, when they. When you do that, dude, when you do that, when they Let me ask you something. Like, that did not burn very well. Yet. Okay. I hope nobody you, got hurt when they lit that on fire. That was probably happen, fizzing off and dropping okay. pieces off. It was Let's dropping say the pieces. Tables Dude, I hope Let's they're alright. Only the fuck themselves trying to be private. It, I saw it burning. I was actually hoping that they wouldn't throw it on us. But there's a lot of other homosexuals right up in front of us, so I knew they weren't wearing it. Yeah. If that was like that, it looks like they tried on every corner. They tried it on that bottom one. Don't come into my Yeah, because I saw it wasn't burning too well. I think a few of them put their lighters together to get it to finally catch. You see the logic? It's twisted. You got a double standard. It's twisted. No, no point should there violence be violence. Is never right. It's okay. never right. Did I say it was? I'm not saying you said that. I'm just telling you. Violence is but never right. No, I'm not. I'm just making a statement. If I was implying that, I'd say you think violence is right. I would come out and say that. I'm not bold, bold enough to do that. Bro, I'm just like this thing got explained. Violence is <laughs> never right. If you don't like the message, we're walk on. We do. sure did, bro. Big it. mission field out here. Forcing you. We have a freedom of speech right to be out there to preach the love of God. I hope you feel all right, bro. Oh. It doesn't sound like well, no, no, I'm, I'm glory to God, bro. No, I'm just glad it was used for a witness. Sure. I can't wait to hear about that, dude. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Muslim, it can be Buddhist, Muslim, that's right. whoever. And I agree. Anybody can go out there. Absolutely. Political people can go out there. Everybody Absolutely. has freedom of speech. First I agree. You just can't make terrorists and threats. There's a limit. Or a fire in a crowded elevator. Stairwell, whatever. So I agree with you. <clears throat> but I'm not going to go up to a Muslim preaching on the street and, and threaten violence to them because they're blaspheming Jesus Christ. Yeah. Do. I'm not yep. going to go to a Hindu preaching on the street and threaten violence to them. Yep. You know why they do that to us? Because we're preaching the truth. Yep. They are uh -huh. in that sin and they don't like somebody telling them that that's wrong. Yep. Because deep down inside they're convicted and know it's wrong and they want to silence the preacher who's telling them it's wrong. I'm telling you one day, if they don't repent, they're going to stand before God. They're going to give an account for what they did tonight. I don't want that to happen. You have no idea. I fear the Lord. I don't Amen, want bro. that to happen to them. Amen. But it's going to happen if they do not repent. God's going to show them what they did in their life. God gave them an opportunity to repent tonight by us being out there preaching the truth. I preached the love of God. I preached the hatred of God. I preached heaven. I preached hell. I preached love. I preached the Full wrath counsel. of God. I did the whole thing tonight. They reacted like that because they hate God and they hate His Word. Amen. And they have a concept of love that is not found in the Bible. They actually, they actually don't even understand that they're full of hatred. When, when, when two people cause each other to sin, they're full of hatred. They're hating God. Blind, they're, leading the blind. They stumble into the What do you mean, two, which two people? Any person. Like, if it's a heterosexual couple and they're having sex outside of marriage, they're doing it in sin against God. If but so. you're saying any two people. Is that, any are you, two are people. you dealing with sex or are you dealing with just two people that are causing a problem? Any any two people that are encouraging each other to sin against God, whether they know it or not, don't realize that they don't have love. Well, for then each other. that's what you're doing. No, you no, know, no, no. We're their you, friends. When you come out here, when you come out here, and you know that they're going to get provoked, then maybe no, you need to know. try Let a different tactic. Let me see go now, would you go, would you go out and do this same activity in front of a, a Muslim? We will do this. Yes, we do that in front of the. Hey, listen. The, the, I've been to Muslim temple. conferences. I've been to Muslim. No, but do you do protest in front of other religions? Yes. Yes. I have been to Muslim but, conferences. Which, which I, want to, I want to tell you I've something. I've been to mosques. I've been to Hindu well, temples. And I've you've been to their we temples. We go out here. Yeah, we do this. We do, do this because we yes. love them like ourselves, right? It says faith in the Bible. It says faithful are the the the, the wounds yes. of a friend rather than the kisses of an enemy. When they're out there doing this to each other, they're they're enemies kissing each other. But we're out here telling them the truth, and we're wounding them because we're their friends. That's what the Bible describes it as, man. That's what the Bible says about it. Faithful are the All wounds I'm saying, of a friend. You think about the that you know, like you're talking about. When two people do something. 
and, and you know that what you're doing, whether you're in total right or not, we're not and you're provoking them. We're not saying something, we're not them. provoking you're, them. You're, you're, you know that's going to provoke no. them. No. You know that will. Okay, then whether Jesus, you, even if then you're Jesus in the right, was guilty. Even if you are in the right, Jesus did the Jesus same thing. Jesus was guilty for being crucified on the cross. That was his fault then. And all, that, and nothing, Steph, no, and that's Stephen, different. Oh, How is that different? Nobody's crucifying you over there. Of course not. But in a sense, but, they're, they're, they're threatening you're violence. Burning our signs, smacking us in burning the face. Burning my sign. They stole my hat, burned my hat. They slapped us in the face. They poked us in the eye. I had a guy grab my bag and throw me around wanting to destroy me. All because we're preaching the Bible. All because we're preaching the gospel against But sin. you know that's going to happen. Have to kiss oh, so that makes it okay. No, it doesn't make it okay. So, so I'm not saying what's so okay So you're saying not. that we're the problem. I'm saying is, is that you're so part that, of the problem. Okay, so with that same logic, then Jesus was part of the problem. Paul the Apostle was part of the problem. Stephen the Martyr was part of the problem. And all the Apostles were part of the problem. Because people killed them for this message. And it was their fault for going up and stirring them up. That's what you're saying to us. No, okay? but, but the thing is, is there's ways to address things. That's, okay. why, that's why I like preaching I get it. with I social get it. justice with MLK. That's why he preached nonviolence. Are you a Christian? No, Sorry. he's not. He's not. You're not a Christian? No, he's not. So you're, you don't know who, what I am. No, I'm asking. But you're I'm, already, I'm, asking. You're already, I'm you're judging already, your fruit. You already you're, said. You're already judging. You're yes, not Jesus. That's right. I'm judging your you're fruit not you. of what you're came out Jesus. of your mouth. I'm judging what came out of your mouth. I don't have to be Jesus to judge if a person's a Christian or not. In fact, Jesus says to do so. Yep. You shall know them by their fruit. Amen. We're supposed to be fruit examiners to find out who our true brothers in Christ are. Yep. We don't just go to everybody and say, oh, brother, brother in Christ. And they could be wicked, and I could be sending them to hell by calling them a brother because they think that they're really fine. No. Jesus said you shall know them by their fruit. So we look at people's fruit. The Bible doesn't say not to judge, ever. Jesus said yep. to judge righteous judgment. Paul wrote in Corinthians that a spiritual man judges all things and is rightly judged by no man. Amen. And when Jesus said not to judge in Matthew 7, he was talking about hypocritical judgment and condemning judgment. We don't have the power to condemn anybody. Nope. Like the Catholic Church did back then when they were anathematizing people and burning them at the stake and condemning them to hell. We don't do that. We don't have the power to do that. And, and we're not judging as hypocrites because we're free from sin and we're trying to tell the message of the gospel so others can be free from sin. And so the judgment that we judge with is righteous because we have a heart that wants their best. And their best is not walking in sin. That's why we say that. It's like a doctor with a person, a cancer patient. The doctor has to examine that person they have cancer, then the doctor has to tell that person, you have cancer and you need to get this treatment. Well, sin is the cancer of the spirit. And that's why we go out and tell people, this is your sin. This is what the Bible calls sin. You need to repent of it, turn away from it, and believe in Jesus Christ, and you will be born again. That's the simple message we got. That's what we preach tonight. And we got we got reviled for it. We got falsely accused. We got committed violent acts against us. They burned my sign. They burned my hat. You see? And we're we didn't rejoice. deserve any of that. And I'm you know what? We didn't call the police. We, well, we were going to call the police just to come and sit there so that they would stop doing that. But we were not going to file charges. I forgive them. I got it all on camera. Like I said, I could file charges on several people right now for assault, for burning my property. They could be going to jail tonight. But you know what? My Lord tells Very unlikely. My yeah, Lord Not very unlikely because in order for them to go to jail, well, you would have gone. to have... Well, well, no. I mean, but you would have to have a, a, uh, a magistrate that would agree with you. And they would see that, that, that you knew what, what happened. No, 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 the law. That's not that's not the law, sir. You know what's funny? You just you don't know the law. You know what's funny? What you just did there? You just you just went against your own logic when it comes to magistrates don't agree or disagree. Exactly. You just went against. You just yeah, said right here. Anybody <laughs> has the freedom to preach or to whatever they want, Muslim, Buddhist, right. Hindu, whatever, and I and I agree with that. But now you're saying that we would go before a magistrate. Well, no, a magistrate has to sign that would have to sign the arrest warrant. Okay, so we have cameras, we have evidence. I'm not right. saying we're going to do that, of course not. But, but, but they look at, they look at, they don't look at just the yeah. actual, they look at the totality but of sure. what's going on sure. and what led to that. Yep. And they Absolutely. would see that. that. No, they would, they would, they would be on our side. Hey, bro, you're missing the point anyway. It's not about legalistic. We're, the point is we're forgiving them and we're not yeah. holding them accountable. We're not holding them accountable That's to the, the law. Point. Okay? We what could, they did we're not going to. criminal offense. But we forgive them. Yeah. And, Praise and God I've, for them. I've, this has happened before. And we want them to them. repent and turn it That's Jesus, the mercy right? of God. If we were hateful bigots, they were condemning us, trying to accuse us of being racist, that we said things we didn't. They went to the police and said, we hit somebody. That's why I carry a camera. Yep. They lied on us. That's not love. That's hate. And, we, and when you preach the gospel, 
you expose this fake love move. It's, it's not love. Gospel. It's hatred. Every, I'm telling you, I go to many communities, concerts, colleges, and the most hateful, violent people I've ever come across are in the homosexual oh, yeah. dogs. Oh, yeah. I was, I was looking. The most hateful, violent people are in the homosexual community. I'm telling you right now, yeah, or a drunkard. Hey, his hair never so That's why I got so. knocked out by the drunkard. I didn't even see him coming. He just came up and swung on me and knocked me out. Oh, yeah. And I'm something. preaching the same gospel. You need a God's smile. One day, I got one right. I got one. I've also got a God for you. Okay. Yeah, just give them both. There's people that come to the Lord. Just you know, like time. I said, I, I, well, I didn't tell you this, but I got a YouTube channel, and people reach out to me all the time. You know? All the time because of this message that they want to come to Jesus or... Man, I used to think that we, we would never stop sinning, but but praise God that God's using your ministry to open people's eyes. To I'm not saying I'm boasting in that in my own good work. That's nothing I give. That's something the Lord did. Right. But there's fruit in this ministry. Okay, so, you know, as, as bad as that looked, the Lord protected us. You know? So, I think that's about it. Unless you got something. <laughs> no, I think it's time to go. Yeah. He's heard everything. Are you still going to follow us? He's a, he can follow us if he wants. I don't care. I really don't. But you're not going to be taking pictures of my license plate. Let me tell you that right now. That's what you're planning to do. I don't know if you are or not. But I don't, that's, that's really wicked. Things like that. That's what you're planning to do. I don't like people following me to my car. Because I don't know what they're planning. Good, bro? Yeah. You got anything to say? Uh, no, I just don't follow us to the car, man. <laughs> Really? Oh, really? Go. Praise God, man. I hope, you, I hope you repent, bro. Turn to Jesus, right. okay? Take a look what we're doing. Yeah, we do every day. <laughs> Think about what you're doing. This to the left. I thought Definitely we went down farther. I think he's going to seed snatch. Whatever you sowed in. Yeah. He's seed snatching. Yeah, I, I saw the the I saw the fear in his eyes. Yeah, like that wasn't me, bro. Yeah, there was sternness there. I could tell, bro. That was the Lord. I had the fear of God. Man, bro. I was watching him the whole night. Man. Yeah. Honestly, you know, I know you guys both got slapped, but you know who I feel the worst for? Brother Sam. That's his first time coming out like that, bro. Well, he Dang, Are you Dang, sure you want to be doing this? <laughs> Have you counted the cost? Because <laughs> it's just going to get worse from here, bro. Man, bro. Love you too, bro. Hey, man, bro. Me too. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God, bro. That's going to be a... Oh man! Great is your award. <laughs> uh, oh, I honestly was thinking that he was gonna do it again. You know, praise <laughs> yeah, God if he did. Man. Well, I didn't do all that. I didn't know what I to do. To, I was trying. To I didn't. I didn't. Uh, no, it's up here. I didn't know what to do because I've never gotten like actually physically assaulted like that. Yeah, I, not like that. No. I, had beer I actually, I actually turned with the slap. So he oh, he me, did. Like I wasn't. He just did it out of nowhere. I knew he was gonna do something because he was, was getting. It? Who was it? It was uh, the guy who was see on, at first. Yeah, oh, and oh, I heard him too. Oh, you know, I, he's a, he's actually he's actually a coward. You know why I say what that? The cross his neck? There's a ton of people yeah. with crosses. No, he had the golden but, cross with it. Yeah. Move. Just walk quickly. I mean, if we go quickly, if we wait for him, I think that would be unwise. We won't make it across the parking lot before he gets over here. Right? Who is that? Is yeah. I mean, if we really want to do it, we could go all the way around, trick yeah, him out, and go. Yeah, let's do that. You got it? My belt broke, so I kind of it. You're good, bro. You already know about We're, we're going to lose this guy. Good thing he didn't see which direction we're going. So we're going to come up here and turn left? Come yeah, back. yeah. Just take a Yui. What did he say, bro? Because I remember you telling me he was a seat snatcher. He was talking to the medical officer, saying that you were inciting violence, that you were covering people. Okay. He said that he was just trying to push that black guy. I heard what he said. He's a liar. 
So he lied straight to you. Yep. I, I kind of account, bro. Because I saw him look down when he said that he didn't say anything, yeah, and you know, dude, like when I called him out on that, he immediately looked straight down because he knew that yep, I. Yeah, he's him. looking for us right now. He's looking around the corner. Man, Power. yeah, no, that's crazy, bro. He's trying to see if we're we'll speaking. Oh, no, maybe so maybe well. he is doing. Well, he was taking a ton of pictures, yeah, we're even of the too. cops. It don't matter. Let him do it, bro. But, uh... You got that, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to bring it back to the congregation. And let him see it, That's a trophy of grace That's right there. That's a trophy there. of grace right there. Good call, bro. I knew it. I knew I should keep it, bro. When you said that, I was like, no, man, we can't leave this here, man. I was going to leave it there as a window. He is looking, looking like hard. I hope he's not thinking we're about to swing around. You know, we just talked about it. Like, nobody has volley onto the car. Look at yeah, this. right. Oh, dude, Th I this has been that. the worst I night. Up, bro. <laughs> Brother Adam, I didn't say that, bro. Uh, uh, well, you, the yeah. I mean, he's gonna see us. Y'all want to turn left? He's he's still looking at us. What? Yeah. You want to? Well, I don't care. Right, let's just go left, bro. Yeah. I'm not gonna see What's he gonna do? Yeah. That was a liar. Hiding. Oh my goodness, bro. I can't believe this. He's following us. Wow. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Let's run. We, we, we got much more youth than <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> go. <laughs> nice slowly trying to hide. <laughs> Well, he's probably running too because he gets closer every time we look around those hey, corners now. <sighs> Y'all familiar with this place anyways? Yeah, I mean, I know I know our way back to the to the car, that's for sure. If that's what you're asking. Yeah, okay. What is it? <laughs> Watch him pop his head around that corner. But I'll sprint, I don't care. Well, I will too, bro. I'll book it on the cross. <laughs> oh, book it, bro. I mean, really, I kind of want to sprint because I feel like his head's yeah. about to pop around that corner. So I'm going to run. <laughs> I got you, bro. Let me see. Let me see. Give me that, bro. Let's go. All right, let's go. I'm up the drop, so. My pockets are full. Watch them be over here. Hey guys, let's how are y'all? <laughs> Might as well mess with it. <laughs> Watch him pop hey, his head right around that corner. Hi guys, how are y'all? <laughs> Isn't this it? Yeah, hey, this is it. This is it. We just gotta run. Come on. You wanna go now? Oh, almost tripped. This way, this way. Oh, my pants about to fall. Yes, I will preach the gospel. 